Yo. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 The, Hog. So the gang's all here. The gang's all here, the boys. Gang's all Everybody. Together again. The entire crew is here. here. After last week, uh, you know, we were down at Koiba and Soko. Now we're all here. How dare you? Epic. Amazing. Yeah, it's not like I skipped. Do you need to watch football? Are they playing some <laughs> of the fighters in the tower? Huh? Do it again in the hub. Are they playing some of the spiders in the tower? Is that how we introduce them? Yes, sure. Um, <laughs> I am the tower. Actually, I'm the catcher blue that turns into a butterfly. Nice. Hey, I'm the tower. I'm, I'm the tower. I'm slowly getting uh, surrounded by sucked idiots. up by the swamp. Nice. All yeah. right. Howdy, everybody. Welcome to Dungeon yeah. Select. We're here. Second week in a row. We're doing it. We're, 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 we're back. I'm, I'm so excited. Um, it's getting real. Yeah, welcome to it. Every uh, this this week on a Saturday because uh, norm Sunday is our normal D&D day, but tomorrow I have a a dinner to go to um, for my grandfather's birthday. So we're doing D&D on Saturday this week. But next week we'll be back on Sunday. Don't worry. Okay, I I, I get it. People don't like change. It's just a one time thing. Relax. All right, relax. Oh. Um. I mean. Before I mean, yeah, we do anything here, else, yeah. anybody here have any announcements? Yas. Mm -hmm. Um last week I mentioned that I have that one shot adventure I want to run and I'd like to do at least one streamed run of it to this channel. The first group of people of players I have uh don't want to do it on stream. And I think only one person in level select, no two people have said they'd be interested. Mm -hmm. Uh so again, if you're in the level select Discord, which you should be because it's great anyway. Um, use the dungeon select tab, make sure if you're interested in playing in a one shot set in the Feywild that, uh, with like LGBT themes, then just shoot me a message in the discord or in my DMs. Hell yeah. Hell. 
If only I could play it twice. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can. Yes, you can. You just the second time have to real hardcore. Make sure you like your your meta gaming senses. I'm down. Yeah, all that. time low. <laughs> <laughs> all time. You could do it. Just play a completely and then play a completely polar opposite character and experience it from two viewpoints. Play six intelligence characters who doesn't know any language. Easy. <laughs> just pull pull a pull a Dariax and Exandria Unlimited and just make sure you have a negative intelligence modifier so you can't meta game even if you wanted to. That's yep. fair. That's fair. Easy. Okay. Uh, anyone else? My name's right this week. Whoa! Oh, true. God Crazy. damn it. <laughs> um, Thanks, so Bell. Find out that Ludwig's a fake name and he's been Logan all along. I imagine. Oh, I was thinking of playing it off that way, honestly, after the first session. But I mean... <laughs> oh, also, I'm I'm dog sitting today, so if you if I look semi distracted, it might be just because I'm dealing with a dog. But he should be pretty chill for the whole time. He's vibing. So. You can see him there. Like, uh, actually, <laughs> I, we can see him, but stream can't because yeah, stream can't because my name tag covers <laughs> him. But... <laughs> um, but there's a dog there. Um, okay, well, if there's no uh, announcements really, uh, obviously, you know, join the subreddit, follow the like Twitter, follow us on Twitch if you haven't already, and all that good stuff. New but. Character? It's time. Last week we revealed our first character for campaign two, and it's uh, it's time to reveal uh, our second one. Let me quickly make sure that I have everything Ooh. ready to go. We're gonna Character do the same thing uh, the same way we did um, last pog, week. Pog, pog. Reveal the art, say the name, and that is about it. A hundred percent reason to remember the name. Mm. So all right, four minds. <laughs> Let me quickly pull the name up so I don't fuck up. There we go. All right. You mean you're not Boom. gonna pull in Logan? There it is. Second character reveal. Boom. Oh, Let's go. Oh what? my god, it's literally a it, what? It's literally a Mortal Kombat character. It, Hello. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like it fucking is. Raiden. Yeah, what the fuck? It looks like, like yeah. Raiden with like, plate armor, I guess. But everyone, this is Jax. And that's it. We've that's the second character of, uh, of of campaign. Okay, that's it, all you need to know. How's it spelled? Uh, J A X. Jack X Combat Racing. Okay, okay. It is a Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> Where's his name? <laughs> Does he have a small ferret-like animal with him? Bum, 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 bum. Sure, man. Oh, um, do we? Yeah. I, forgot, I don't know if we Jack answered this Jack last week. Are these game. like to scale to the heights of the characters? Like, probably to each not. Other, or no not? Idea. Probably not. They're probably just. I have no yeah, idea. I to be honest with you. Um. But yeah, two characters down. Four to go. Uh, obviously, all the Don't. art and stuff will be uploaded to the to the Reddit and, and Twitter and, and, and all that shit after today's stream. Is it exactly um, four weeks. But yeah, start? two character reveals so far. I can't get over how much that leftmost mm -hmm. silhouette makes me think of Raven from Teen Titans. A little bit, yeah. A little There's bit. trouble, you know who to call. But uh, yeah, this is, the, the art looks so song. sick. And there's, uh, if you're a part of the subreddits, so I'm uploading the like individual art there as well, uh, so you can look at it like. The character and all its fucking detail. The detail on this. I, like, I can't art wait to see the detail on some of the armor. Join well. the subreddit. Subreddit. But yeah, that's cool. There it is, boys. Ooh. That's all you're. That's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. Ooh. Um. Yeah, the the art looks phenomenal. So good. Dude. Phenomenal. I'm I'm super excited. I can't wait to see everyone's. Yeah. And they're right. Okay. So I already have. <laughs> With, uh, yeah, with no, that no, no. Shit. <laughs> last week, the party uh, got summoned to uh, Urzin, a town completely built on the back of uh, horizon back tortoises that kind of roam uh, around the town, therefore always traveling, never staying in one place for too long. But it does, the, the tortoises do travel the same area constantly, so essentially the town just kind of loops around and is in the same places. Um, like year round, but it just constantly moves around uh, a few miles. Uh, I think they travel a mile a day, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you got summoned to uh, to the town of Urzin. Had a little chat with uh, the leader there, uh, uh, an, an ogre named Ogre Lord Bufal II. And he told you that his uh, most trusted counselor, a goblin witch named Bulbara, has gone missing. Um, you were told that uh, Bulbera made a made a trip uh, through the marsh, but uh, with um, the with with the uh, Twindalian Empire kind of having a bigger appearance uh, on on the west side of the marsh than they normally have, 
Ogla Bufal fears that Bolbear may have been taken captive or worse. And for the sake of, of, of political standpoints, uh, he hired you to go fetch or find out what happens to Bolbera so that uh, his town doesn't get any... Uh, is, isn't implicated in, in, this, in this mission. Uh, and of course, in exchange for payment, you uh, accepted this offer and um, traveled together with a, a hobgoblin scout named Morgid through the marsh. Uh, got about halfway through the marsh. Uh, you're about halfway uh, there on your trip. Last we left off, you traveled to a crumbled tower, slowly sinking deeper and deeper into the, into the groundworks of the marsh itself. Uh, explored it a little bit, found some very thick spider webs, and decided to not really bother exploring uh, what this could be besides the bottom floor, where you found a couple of trinkets. Uh, but before you do anything else, suddenly, as you're kind of outside this tower, a bright flash of light appears. And suddenly, as you kind of close your eyes and you open your eyes again, you see before you your two compatriots that uh, weren't here last week um, teleported to you. Um, Neswin uh, and Tazris. If you're not sure what happened last, you remember it is you were helping some wizard uh, a, a few towns over and things are a little blurry, but you're here now. So before we do anything else, obviously, uh, since this is your first uh, time joining uh, this adventure, give us a quick description of what your character uh, your characters look like. Let's start with uh, Neswin. So you see before you a five foot one, five foot two Triton. Uh, they have a long bow strapped to their back, and a big old smile on their face, wearing just kind of very basic leathers, very sort of just happy go lucky, happy to be there. And it's just vibing, straight Triton. vibing. Nothing, nothing too bad. He likes to be just very, like, commonly dressed. Doesn't really... You can tell he don't really care too much. And they're just like, these are my clothes that I have. When they rip, I'll get new ones. And it'll be, like, the same shirt. <laughs> and, like, from the same store. <laughs> they know what they like. Any, any weapons? Uh, yeah, it's longbow. Traps oh, right. You and, the, and two swords. And a, a scimitar okay. on the left. And a Ooh. short sword on the right. All right. Uh, Tazris? Uh, you see a little five foot six satyr, uh, um, curled horns on top of his head, looking pretty, pretty nasty. Uh, um, lightly bronze skin. He is completely like a like a a, a straw blonde hair. Um, obviously his legs are completely covered in it. Uh, wearing some like kind of grungy chainmail with a, a war hammer in one hand and a shield in the other. Uh, as you appear, you, you kind of take a few seconds to, to really uh, gather yourselves, but then you see your fellow compatriots you travel, your, your party of, of friends that you've been traveling with for the last few months, um, and the Hobgoblin, who immediately... <clears throat> who are they? What is this? Seemingly spooked at the just the sudden appearance of these two adventurers. Hey, guys! So we're hey. here! Hey. It was a cut to us! We've that. got here. Who's who's that? Oh, this is our guide. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Are What's they... your name? Orchid. Are they with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're fine. And no one's yeah, gonna question. Oh, they are now. I mean, no one is gonna question that the fact that they just. Okay. No, we know them. Oh, yep. Oh, oh. Uh, well, I mean, how how did you get here? Where'd you come from? It's all a bit of a blur. It's like a drunken weekend, but like a wizard teleport, yes. I'm pretty sure. And that's why I remember. It's a bit weird. I've not teleported for ages, so. But but how did they know exactly where we? How did they know? We just, I just described you guys, and like we had the trinket that one of you gave me. No, we just got and... sent here. Okay. Um. Well, we all come to you, I suppose. We're on our way to the fort across this fucking marsh, so we've got this whole goblin with us taking us through. Mm -hmm. I suppose you might as well tag along now. Sounds good. Better good. late than never, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, we, could use, we could use the help, I suppose. Um, okay. Um, we have... Although, now there's more of us. A bit of a choice to make. Uh, you're good done here at the tower, right? You, you didn't want to go upstairs? Well, I was Do just going to say, now we're all back. here. Now, now we're all here, you know, I'm sure we could deal with some, 
some big spiders easily enough. We well, how big a spider time crunch? Though? Giant spiders, very big. And I mean, we how found we those cool pipes, but if it's just more fancy musical instruments, you know, up there, I don't know how much that's really gonna help. We're not traveling troop of musicians. We could be very much if like we got to these this place. super cool instruments. I guess. Instruments. Mm. I think we would all very much like to explore this place, but I think maybe on the way, on the return journey would be more appropriate. Uh, yeah, once we like... know that the, the our target is actually alive for us to rescue, that would probably help. Rescuing somebody? That's so cool. Oh, he's a, you, you he's know a nice one. We're, we're rescuing uh, a witch named uh, Bulbera. Bulbera, yes. Bara? Looking at Morgan, yeah. Okay, okay yes, yeah, sounds good. She's kind of very important to them because she's she's the brains of the operation. Their mm -hmm. ruler's more of like the muscle, you know? And they kind of need to work together to keep things going. Nizzle just kind of nods, big smile on their face. Just nods. All right, well, in that case, we'll press on. Right, um, it's looking like... And, and Morgan kind of looks up through like a little bit of a clearing in the, in the, in the canopy. We have about we could we travel about five more miles before before dark and um i think i can get us to a to a spot where it's it's a little more dry uh, maybe we'll be able to climb up some trees and get some rest for the night if that's okay with you guys yeah it's, oh it sounds great you're the guy oh, let's like do it rest in a tree okay um follow me and then mortgage kind of right. goes on her way uh westward and as you guys travel, you... Let's have a look. Oh, um... Nothing can kill my spirit, though. <laughs> oh. Right, now that you've said that. Anyone have a passive this... perception of 15 or higher? Hell no. <laughs> nope. Okay. The sun. So close. Um, you guys travel. A bunch. Uh, you look around oh. and, and you hear some noises around you. You know, just just the, some stuff that you have been have been getting used to now, like the hissing of of of, of alligators just kind of sw swimming around the marsh. Um, so with that in mind, you kind of keep an ear out, keep an eye out, making sure that none of them try to sneak up on you. And at around sunset, you arrive at. Um, a small spot in the marsh where the, instead of the water being knee high it's like it's like ankle height so it's still not very comfortable but uh, there's a lot of trees around very thick sturdy sturdy branches and Morgan looks around i suppose this will do um any of you need help climbing the tree with the trees um we just jump i mean I, this this ensemble was not exactly made for climbing. Gestures to like bulky armor. <laughs> Just jump, yeah. I fuck. I'll, I'll pull out well, a. You can you can, you can pull out a grapple you can sleep hook. down here, but you'll be getting wet and it's, it's smelly and. Oh. Yeah, Wait, wet, it's water that's down not here. Good for armor that's, either. That sounds great. I'm already uh, in the tree. Just got right. I'm gonna take I'm... out a take out a grappling hook and tie some rope to it. Gills. <laughs> and I'm gonna. Yeah, it's like ankle heights. I'm gonna like <laughs> sling a fucking grapple hook over a tree branch. Start trying to hoist myself up a little bit. Um, give me a second. Let me have a look. See, uh, would you please? Mm. Make me, uh, mm. acrobatics, not athletics, not <laughs> athletics. <laughs> roll, just, no. just, just roll d twenty for me. Okay. <laughs> Natural two. Oh boy. Oh no. Um, <laughs> you, you, you throw the grappling hook and and it just kind of it goes up and then just before hitting any of the branches, it just comes down, just in the in the water. Oh, I'm just gonna. Hey, oh, you're supposed to go in the tree, yeah? 
Are we sure those branches can support all, some of our weight? Should be fine. They look, pretty, they look pretty thick and sturdy. I want to like bounce he just on broke one, one and see how sturdy it is. Wait, who broke one? Oh, no, the grappling hook broke, not the oh, branch. No, I just, I oh, missed. He just missed. Like he just, I the missed and oh. just the grappling hook. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I heard. I thought I heard something. I thought the branch broke. Never. Broke. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, what was that, Ravenborn? Uh, I just want to like test out the branches to make sure that they are strong enough. Do you just fucking just like, hop up there? Yeah, just like yeah. I'm just hopping up. Yeah, I mean, you you jump up and you uh, as a as a drung, right? Was it? That is uh, drung. Drunk? Grung? Fuck. Yeah, how much does Ravenmore weigh? Like, Grung. eight kilos? Right. Uh, yeah. you, you just hop up there with no issue, and, I mean, these branches are are very wide, very thick. There's there's no way. Uh, they, they they won't break easily. Okay. I'm yeah, just gonna, good. just gonna kind of, like, deep exhale and be like, oh, well, here it goes, and just try and very un just brute force my way up the tree. Like, it does not look Make graceful. It does not look practiced. check? Alright, um... I mean, I that's more rope. not terrible. Thank you. Oh, dirty 20. Yeah, you, you it, it oh. doesn't look very graceful, but you just pure upper body strength, climb your way up the yeah. tree. And probably like slide down a few times, but just like grip on and catch myself and eventually get up to a branch. Very good. Blue line style. Are you throwing again, uh, yeah. Ludwig? No, actually, oh. better idea, I'm gonna call it to- now Raz jumped up there, I'm gonna call it to Rav. Come back down here, sit, you little frog shite. <laughs> I'll jump down. What do you want? Pass Ravamore on the end of the rope. Uh, without okay. the grappling hook. Okay. I will jump oh. up with the grappling hook in my hand. Oh god, wait. How ho how tall is the tree? Uh, the first, like, thick, sturdy branch is about 15 feet up. Okay, so, because I have, like, 50 feet of rope, I think, I'm just gonna tie my, like, pack with all the fucking bear traps and whatever else <laughs> to one end of the rope. Okay. All right, hoist that out for us, will you? Oh, do as he asks. Ravenmore just... Yeah. And then I will attempt to climb the tree. Make a... Make an athletics or acrobatics check. Whichever one works oh, better for a... you. He's a benevolent god, chat. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Seven. You, he's a that, benevolent that, that's god. That's for acrobatics. That was acrobatics. <laughs> you just kind of like just try and like do get a run up on the tree and just kind of like try and see if you can run a few feet up before having to catch yourself. And you just run up and just fail to grab at anything. You just slide back down and you kind of like fall ass down into the water. Okay. I go help pick up. Like you, you got this next time, and I'll cast prestidigitation on here to dry him off on the on his ass. <laughs> so, right. Well, I. Hey, thanks. Kindly. Just very kind of embarrassed by this. No, no one's sorry. Situation. No one's sorry. You, you, you got this. I, I mean, I, I think I'll, sl I'll sleep down here. I, it's f I'm fine. That's, you know, dwarves, better at ground level. You know. Be right. I can help lift you up. <laughs> no, 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 never. I'm gonna stay together then. You trying to grab oh. him, uh, I want to grab him and toss him up the tree. Oh I will and the dwarf tossing is happening. Evade his grapple. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake. Are you okay? Um. So you, yeah, okay. So you're trying to resist. All right. I mean, shit. Um. Just make a grapple check and you try to get out of it, uh, Ludwig. Oh. What did you roll, Soko? I rolled a natural 20 <laughs> so for did a total I. of 26. Oh, no. <laughs> for a total 25? of 23. No, no 20. Uh... Yeah, 23. Fuck. That's brutal. You almost tried to, like, you almost managed to just dodge out of the way, but Tazra's is strong. Like, somehow, this, 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 this happy-go-lucky oh, hopping satyr just has his arms around you and just... I'm yeah. sure it looked very impressive. Looked very impressive. It was like two natural twenties. Like it was like the, it was like UFC shit. Yeah. You know, <laughs> he ran up the wall like a ninja. Oh my god! Uh, Soko, make a make a strength check. Left. Okay. Uh. Uh, plus four, so fifteen. 
You toss, uh, you literally toss the dwarf up <laughs> and, and, me a and Ludwig, you just, you just land just, just ass down on one of the thick, sturdy branches and you're sitting there up in the tree now. That is better, yeah? I'm just going to silently turn to Rav and take my pack. <laughs> and then... Oh, I'll using... keep as straight a face as I possibly can while I give him his bag. Just like... Using my... Uh, do I have a bedroll? I should, right? Ooh. Hold on. Does he? I don't think I do. Hmm. You don't? You have to, no? No, I think I, I have like the the criminal equipment rather than the adventurers, so I don't have a bedroll. Damn. Can I somehow fashion a hammock out of my clothes and some rope? Sure. Hell yeah. Impressive. All right. Um, Elias, Neswin, what are you guys doing? Um, excuse me. I will attempt to climb it as best I can. Let's see how that uh, goes. Athletics or acrobatics. Get too. No. <laughs> no. Uh, Nine. No. It's eleven. Nine. Is that athletics Nine. or acrobatics? Ath acrobatics. It doesn't look pretty, but after a few minutes of trying and sliding down a lot, you do manage to get up to a point in the tree where you, you where you feel comfortable, you know, resting for the night. You oh, want this one? Oh, win. No, no, I, 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 I was legit. I'll, I'll sleep in the in the in the water. You know the. Uh, it doesn't see the thief. You toss me. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Sure, and I'll toss him. Need some on the ground to make sure we can all be uh, up the same check. tree. You know. Uh, fourteen. Yeah, and just kind of flies up and then holds onto one of the branches. Yeah. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. What are you doing, uh, Tazris? Uh, I'm gonna try and climb as high as I can in the tree. Uh, athletics or acrobatics, please. Uh, oh. Eight. Eight? Eight. After after helping a few of your, your travel companions up the tree, it's now time for you to climb up and, and you just kind of underestimate the jump and kind of like slip on the on the, with the murky swamp water like under your feet and just kind of oop and kind of catch yourself on, on the tree stump or like on the, the bottom part of the tree. Uh, 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 you sure you um, don't want anybody to toss you? No, I didn't. I will cast gonna... press hesitation on his feet as he like, if he goes to climb again to dry them off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go, that won't be a slipper anymore. And just try to shove that in and like use it as like hand spikes in the bark? Climb up? Yeah, sure. Oh, or tree. Sure, yeah. fuck it. Uh, make a make an athletics check with advantage. It's so yeah, good we don't have a anymore. druid in the party. Yeah. <laughs> and they just be like, they just be pulling a Krista from Fern Gully right now. Uh, Put your hands in the tree. 15, yeah, you using the say? fucking using the Pitons? Pittons? I don't. It's I still don't know the, 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 the pronunciation, but wait, it's Dutch. Dutch I can't hear you. Hello. Oh, oh hello. There what happened there? Hello. Hello. Okay, I don't know, no, you just like, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, that was weird. Your audio wasn't coming through for a second. Uh, um, using the, the Pythons, Pythons, I don't know the pronunciation. You just, just climb, you just climb your way up. Pythons. Pythons, there you go. All the way up I to the highest point in the tree. I swear it was Pythons. I've I no idea. something new, man. But uh, it took a little, I think little, both little are of acceptable. effort, but uh, all of you are in the tree now, minus um, uh, Neswin, who uh, is comfortable just chilling in the water, being being a Triton and all. Um, I I will, Ocean. like, hang up. Ocean I'll hang up my bag and stuff. I can uh, take first watch. I can take a watch as well. Um, whilst I'm doing that, I will be like just hanging up my stuff so it doesn't get like fucking submerged in the water. And just on that rope that's been used to climb, I'll be like hanging my shit on it. Okay. <laughs> Drying off as well. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit the fucking tree. Maybe look for see if there's any like wildlife in the water. And just. I uh, usually you, you spot uh, you know some 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 like like critters and 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 small. Uh, Small. If there's any fish, I talk to them. Just they so can't, you start a can't... conversation with a couple of fish, kind of swimming by, and uh, don't really seem to have much uh, useful to say. Um, so who's taking first watch? Uh, I think I am. Okay. 
make me a perception check, please. I do really good at these. I believe you. I um, watch them! Because I'm perceptive. Four. <laughs> oh, um, or sorry, five. Five? five. Oh, yeah, that makes, oh, that okay, makes that a makes difference. He's perceptive, yeah. guys. Um, perceptive, your watch five. goes down, goes goes by pretty pretty chill. You don't see anything. You don't hear anything. You're just kind of kind of vibing. Ears are still ringing a little bit from, from just the teleportation uh, that, that brought you here. As far as you can tell, there's nothing going on. And uh, that concludes your watch. All right. Take a little... Little, little slab of like dried meat. Throw it at a uh, uh, nest one to wake okay. him up. Hey, hi. Go on to sleep. Okay, have a good sleep. Sleep well. Night. Night. All right. With that, uh, make a, a roll perception check, please. Realize the water was full of helium. Holy shit. El <laughs> uh, Eleven. 11, okay. Give me a second. What? Oh, I don't want that, chat. <clears throat> you hear uh, a lot of buzzing. As from around uh, some foliage comes this like swarm of dragonflies all just kind of hovering around and flying and just kind of traveling by. Uh, what do you do? Whoa. I just look at it. I just like just if it. it if it's not being aggressive anyway, I'm just going to fucking look at it and be like, that's cool. If it starts being aggressive anyway, I will do something. I don't know what yet. I'll do, I'll something. do something. The, the, the swarm of dragonflies doesn't seem to notice you, nor your compatriots in the tree, and just kind of travels further down, uh, just away from you at this point. Yeah, I just kind of <clears> think of myself that, that, that was pretty your cool. Watch, um, pretty chill. Not much happening. Uh, and at that point, you hear from the tree, Um, I woke up. Uh, I'll, I can take this watch. I saw some dragonflies. Just and I them. go back to sleep. N no, they just... Good. It's food pass. Okay. Wait, they can sting you? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. And let's go to sleep. <laughs> so no one else is awake at this point? No. Just uh, more good. I'm snoring, like full on dragon snoring. Natural 20 on, on Morgan's perception. Or we'll see through time and space. Mm hmm. Hey, nothing bad happened on my see. watch. Nothing bad happened on mine. Um. Yeah, no, Morgan's watch goes down, uh, goes goes by pretty, pretty chill as well. And she, or he just kind of looks around and, and just goes, like, Tosses like a like a, a piece of bark at uh, Ravamorn. I forgot who had the next watch. I just woke you up. I'm a bounce down from the tree. Just have a little bit of a swim. Okay. Uh, make a perception check, please. Cool. Ba -da 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 -da. 23. 23. Uh, yeah. As far as you can tell, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And with that, st the sun starts to rise, and uh, slowly everyone in the group <clears throat> starts waking up. Uh, if you have any, like, food rations or you know, any, any supplies like, like you could fashion a, brec a breakfast out of, uh, feel free to help yourself to those. And uh, you all yes. manage to climb, climb or stumble or slide down the tree. And Morgit whips out her whips out his map once more. looks looks at it. Um. Okay. It's a it's a pretty straight shot west to the fort from here. Um. We keep up the pace. Wait, one, two, three, five, six, seven. It's about seven miles. So we'll get there. Um, All right. A few hours before 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 sunset. So 
um, you might be what's able the, to. Yeah, uh, what's the hmm? what's the marsh light between here and there? Um, shit, you know, a lot of water. Um, but um, no, no real. Yeah. I mean, there are some points of interest, but that would require us to go out of the way and uh, Fish boy. a bit of a time crunch, right? All right. Well, it's just I was hoping it would be easier going, but uh, I guess we're mm. not so lucky. Pretty much the same way it has been going so far. Just a lot of water and uh, you know, Aye. chance of venomous snakes or the alligators, crocodiles, uh, maybe some flowers, maybe some lizard folk on the way. Who knows? Maybe some more dragonflies. Mm, or those? It's some dragonflies. Yeah, that's nice. Big swarm of them. It's really cool. You didn't catch any. Why would I catch them? They were free. So we could see them. Uh, they, I don't want to disturb them. They looked we're happy. In the middle of a swamp. I'm sure we shall fair share of dragonflies before we're out. Mm, hope not. Well, it was a pretty big swarm. Well, so. I just got here. Okay. Anyway, um, let's get going. Hmm. And you start traveling, and on your way, you start hearing Sorry, I didn't have enough for breakfast. As uh, a group of Rav's friends, three bullywugs. These bipedal, frog-like creatures, kind of reminiscent of, of, of Rav, but, but a lot bigger and, and fatter, and um, oh. they, they, they seem yeah. to uh, be carrying these, these like spear-like like weapons. Um, they haven't quite spotted you yet. Mama, what do you do? Rav, Mama, are these friends? Weapons. My dad! <laughs> hey! Oh my god. At the moment I see weapons, that they have weapons, I'm going to cast Gift of Life to myself. Okay. Wait, I might be able to, to, to talk to them, maybe. But I don't know if yeah, they'll... There we go again. Back. Would it Rev be able to do that? I mean, are they, are they headed... Are they headed towards us? Like, do we... Can we not just, like, try and just be quiet and walk, like, around them? Are they in our path? Are they moving, like... They are in your path, uh, and they seem to kind of be, be like hunched over, uh, spears in hand, not really doing anything to that gives you the impression that they're going to move anytime soon. I'm just look at Morgan and be like, can we not just kind of take a wide berth a bit and just skirt around them? Uh, or would that be well, hugely I mean, problematic? To be honest with you, Bullywugs are... Um, they can be quite hostile there. there there's a few Bullywug um, camps in this swamp. Whenever we come across them, uh, just look menacing and they kind of run away on their own. So we fight. Well, uh, not necessarily. If you can look, you know, put a scary face on and walk forward with with confidence, they they should like, just run away. Like this, and I like to hold up my base and shield and try and make a like, like make scary dragon face. Make an intimidation check. I'm gonna pick up Rav. <laughs> I'm not sure it'll go well though. <laughs> and I'm gonna put Rav on my shoulders so oh, that we're about five foot 20. tall. Like that? Yes. Are you, are you wearing gloves? Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? I... So you put you put Rav on your shoulders? I'm putting Rav on my shoulders so that we make up about five feet tall. And I'm yeah. now just in full scary, embracing draconic heritage. And any sense of the like mild mannered and like inquisitive personality like, face is gone and like eyes narrow, like teeth bared. I just look angry. Uh, I just have, okay, keep I that just face have my dragon and just... my daggers in like a Start ice walking. pick grip. Uh Nesvin tries to look angry, but it's just a smile. It's like, hey, maybe you I stay behind until Nesvin, they leave. Yeah, yeah, you stay at the back. Okay, okay. Keep I that can face. do that. Keep that face, and, and just, just walk forward with with, with confidence. All right, just I just striding yeah, like, forward. Pop up, pop I have resistance up. to poison anyway. I'll be fine. And the shield and the the mace with scary face <laughs> on, and just walking forward like like a white man walking into a bar. Like I just own this place. <laughs> Um, okay. You walk forward, and uh, these bullywugs spot you, turn you tur turn to you, holding their spears, and they just see the, the fucking face. And I let a little bit of death. lightning crackle out of my mouth. And like, they just almost, I'm gonna start, the start breath booking weapon. it. You, you just hear this, like, panicked... <laughs> and they just, as they fuck off, they, they run. They run away. 
Bye, Dad. <laughs> Let's stop. Is that your dad? Yeah, that's my dad. Oh, why didn't you say so? I don't know, I wanted to see we what your have talked to them. Was. Yeah. I mean, I it's fine. They've left. No, we didn't have to hurt anyone. Let's just keep going. And we... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just unceremoniously <laughs> dump Rav on the ground. We now don't have anything for, for dinner now, though, so... Alright, so you continue your travels, and as you eat my dad. draw closer to <laughs> Fort Venture, you can now see it in the distance, kind of peeking through the tree line. You see flashes of lightning and the sound of thunder just growing more prevalent as you get closer. Um... The swamp gives way to a grassy shoreline beneath a low promontory, promontory, on which sits a modest stone keep surrounded by a tall wooden palisade. Weather-worn Dwendalian flags hang forlornly above the massive front gate and from decorative pikes rising from the keep. Several rows of spike barricades surround the palisade as a defense against the predators of the Brokenville Marsh. A jagged bolt of lightning suddenly cuts through the misty air above the keep, striking the edifice as a mighty crack of thunder rumbles off into the horizon. Aye. Is it like a natural storm? Mm. Um, make make a perception check. Twenty, dirty twenty. You look, and this storm is just exclusively above the fort. Nowhere well, else. It's just go. thunder and lightning above the fort. Nowhere else. And from that, okay. you kind of draw the conclusion that it's probably not natural. Looks like our witch friend's up to no good in there. <coughs> I mean, if she could... I mean, we, how, we don't know it's her. Maybe they have their own casters as well. Yeah. Or maybe they're forcing her to do it. I mean, I don't know why any... Um, you know, soldiers, casters, whatever, under the employ of whoever lives in that fort would want them to drop lightning bolts on the place, though. Okay, I have a plan. Hold, oh, wait, no. before you go on, is this something you've seen your, what's her, Babushka, what's her name? What? Bar, Bel, 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 Bel Hold on, I wrote it down, I, I wrote it down, that one. <laughs> um, no, she's more of a... Um... You know, worships a certain otherworldly patron. She doesn't really do the whole nature of oh, thunder stuff. Oh, oh, which one? Is it one of these? I and I pull out all those all those symbols we found, all the different religious symbols, including know. mine. And I'm like, which one? Did you recognize any of these? Did she wear any of these? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well, that could have been really helpful. Maybe. But, um, I have a plan. I'm not much of a fighter, okay? But what I can do we know um, is distract. There's, right. patr there's patrols going through the fort. You infiltrate. I go to the main gate and distract them. Give you some time. And if I feel like it's getting a little too close to comfort, I just run through the swamp. Lose them. What if we just asked to go in? What? Yeah, we just say, hey, we're here to be inspectors. We need to make sure our building code is correct. What? Mold busters. I I, I feel mean, like we don't really look like building code you inspectors. You have Dwendalian, you know, gear that you can wear? Fake no. paperwork. I mean, one of us does. Your, your words. I have Dwendalian paperwork. Yeah, I was going to say, one of us has Dwendalian gear. Oh, so he's going in alone? I'm, I'm I'm just a pet frog. Very big. <laughs> there you go. My familiar, I chose a three foot frog. Two foot. Okay. I mean, I could also always say I'm, I'm, I'm just an emissary from the Temple oh, of Saren Ray. Just come to see if anyone good. needed any healing or medicine. The thing is, right? I don't think that's smart. These, these, the, the, the Twentalian Empire doesn't really have much grip in this, in this area. So if you do plan on going in there in, under the pretense of being inspectors, you at least have to all look the part, have the paper to back it up. If not, they'll just kill you. 
Mm. I'm a fairly well-known criminal in these parts, so I don't know if they'll want me in there anyway. Even if you make a distraction, though, how are you proposing? Like, they're not every single guard is not going to abandon, for no offense, one small hobgoblin making a fuss. I kill him. What? Huh? It's a job. Who? The, the, the guards, I'm assuming that yeah. he means. Oh, okay. that's fine. I thought you meant the the target, and I was like, why? This guy is so trustworthy. Did you guys why think I meant the hobgoblin? I no, didn't. no, no, no. A little bit. Oh. They're a little scared. For a second, a little bit. <laughs> I, I mean, we were talking about the hobgoblin, and then you said kill him. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> listen, I've got three, me, two, two grappling hooks. Wait, maybe more. Hold on. Hold Not very on. Stealthy. Two grappling hooks. Four. No, 20 pitons. A thousand ball bearings. A bunch of bear traps, crowbars. We can, we can, you know, we can get our way I, in I here. can, I can make a cloud of fog or, or like a gust of wind. So. Or both. So we get more, more good to distract them, pull as many of them away as you can, and then we just maybe with your fog cloud for some extra cover, see, just then see, try and push see, our way in uh, through the door. You see Morgan kind of go through some papers. Right. Um, I believe and. He kind of rolls open uh, a piece of parchment. Right, right. Um, Parson Pelinost is 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 um in charge here. Cruel man, horrible. Um, likes torture. So, oh, Bobera, oh. we gotta free her. We gotta go quick. We gotta, we gotta get her out. All right. Sounds like I guess we're What's mostly the brute forcing this. Of? Like, is it stone, uh, or stone, is it yes. wood? Palisade. Okay. I thought it was Palisade. Oh, oh, oh. Bye, Belle. Bye, Belle. Hello. Her and it's was, was, it not, was it not Palisade wooden walls? Yes, but the fort itself yeah. is, is, is made from stone. Yeah, there's wooden walls in front of the stone fortress. Oh, yeah. Where did Belle go? Dubai. No. Boko? Boko. Belle? No, I was just thinking of FIFA. Her internet died before the oh. stream, maybe, and she was back in a few, like a minute or uh -oh. two, when it cut out before the stream. Uh oh, stinky. <laughs> uh oh. It's fine. Everyone can see like our chins and my forehead. I was gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> and my forehead, my chest. We've got a big cow. Here, I would, I could try Can't and pick up the dog forehead. and then just put dog face in one of the frames. Distract, distract with the Hello. Distract. Corbin really went with that voice, yeah. huh? <laughs> what do you mean? <clears throat> yes, I like both mean? the voice fine. voices. What do you mean? Both strong I choices. don't know where my voice came from. It just kind of came out, and that's what it is now. No, shit. It, it happened, and you're oh, sticking no. with it. Not quite right. Valley Girl. It's not quite annoying guy. <laughs> I mean. Dude, I was hoping that you're going to commit to the full Valley Girl. Is this where Dutch no, spends no. like three minutes remaking the scenes? And no. then Bell joins back just as he does it. <laughs> no. We play it. She's online. Yeah, apparently. She's maybe it's our internet. I wonder if it's... I mean, Discord will say people are online when they're not, even. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe like... Because she's on mobile. Discord. Oh, there oh. she is. Hello. Welcome back. I don't know what's with my internet today. <laughs> Me neither. It's 31 degrees in London. It's melting a fucking cable. It's melting in London, idiot. <laughs> oh no, shit, you're not. Fucked. It's like 26 here. So 24 it's here. Colder there. Wait, it's colder. Uh, mm. By the course, dickhead. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. But... Ethan, where where are you going right now? Wait. <laughs> yeah, <what's laughs> going? He's a snake. He's a slippery. I like how. What are you, what are you doing? A snake. You're in full gamer stance. Yeah, I'll be honest. Dude. <laughs> yeah, when the cameras bit, were broken, I slumped down mm -hmm. so that my face was on screen. Uh, oh, let's see. And then Bell joined back, and I just didn't think about it, so I stayed slumped down, thinking I've got to be here to be in frame. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh my god. Silly boy. I officially yeah. now cannot move my chair because the dog has decided to lie across and on and underneath the legs. So if I try and roll my chair back now. This will end very badly. I mean, you can. It just 
no. would be cruel. Oh, you still yeah. We're fine. We're fine. Would be cruel. <laughs> okay. Uh, that would be like yeah. probably okay. not cruel. So now that we're back to D and D. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. I... Uh, did you say, uh, what if we started a fire on one side of the wall? Did you say it was Parson Palanost? Mm. Is that his name? Um, Parson Palanost. Parson Palanost, yes. Palanost. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do I know anything about this individual? Uh, make a history check. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, history? Mm hmm. Do, 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 do. Uh, 24. Um, you know that his methods of interrogation for people he deems troublemakers are considered savage by normal Imperial standards. Uh, which makes boy. it ideal to have him stationed at a remote location, uh, like this, where he can just kind of do whatever the fuck he wants without interruption. Um, with that, you fear for the amount of torture that Bulbara has already gone through, if she truly is in this fort. Um, you know that he has a knack for torturing prisoners to death and then reviving them so that he can do it all over again. It's pretty poor. Oh, God. <coughs> okay. Go the fire. Um, I'm going to keep that to myself for now. Okay. I'm going to start. Maybe we I don't do know. Wait, wait. Maybe we you we could set the fire on one side of the palisade, and then Morgan, you make sure your distraction goes the other way. So we're also pulling the guards in two separate directions to spread them even thinner. From your uh, point of view, as you're kind of like up the, the the hillside, you can kind of look down and you can look into the fort, and you see that there is um um. We're gonna go the southern side of the fort. There's a bunch of tents and like one large tent. Northern side of the fort, there are these like big cages, some smaller tents. And then there is on the uh, uh, western side of the fort, just one big stone building. That is kind of what you see. You also see that the only entrance into uh, like through the palisade is uh, on the eastern side. And there is soldiers patrolling uh, pretty much all throughout uh, the fort. Are there any circling the fort itself? Um, you don't seem to see any soldiers on the outside of the fort, except for um, the by the, the palisade, uh, like the gate. Um, you do also spot um, that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight watchtowers around, like in within the palisade walls. Jesus. That's two of which at the gate. Um, and then just six more kind of, kind of spread along, like, around. Is there people uh, in all of them? Uh, you don't know. You can't see, but okay. you would assume so. Okay. Uh, given my background, would I know roughly how many people would be stationed in a fort like this? Um... <sighs> making Dutch have to think. Yeah. Um, How you're not sure. Dick, are you gonna make me fight? You're not sure. Just realized well, that Dutch, Dutch has made it his job so much easier in campaign two by we're all going to a literally unexplored island, so none of us can know literally anything <laughs> and, about the area. So no more. Would I know? Would I know this? Would my character <laughs> know? Looking at the ground, would I know what type of rock is underneath? Smelling the air. Yeah. What's um, the I pH mean... of the water here? I'll, I'll look to my knowledge on precise, precise versions of nettles. Would I know this about this poison? Sorry? I'll look to the rest um, of the group. Fuck you. Yep. So, I'm sure I could talk my own way in it. Bringing the rest of you that presents a problem. So we fight. I can scale that palisade in 45 seconds flat and be in there quiet tree. as a mouse. I mean, you did have a hard time with the tree. Yeah. She says she, she is I right. can scale that palisade in 40 seconds flat. 
<laughs> Whoa, five seconds quicker than okay, in there so, quiet as a mouse. Let's just let's just do this. So who is setting the fire? Who 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 put that idea out there again? I did. Okay, so you pick one side of set the fire. Not near the entrance though, because we don't want to, you know, get set on fire trying to get in. Morgan, run the other way of the fire, making a loud ass noise or whatever you want to do to distract. And then I guess we'll charge the opening while you scale the palisade and then attack them from behind. You're just going to attack. Well, I don't know. It sounds this like is that's... a fort full of guardsmen and God knows what else. And there's a fucking well, unholy storm going on right above them. There's all right. We've got. Well, no one else got... suggested yeah. anything else stealthier. Climbing I mean, over the can... fucking wall. <laughs> It's not very stealthy. I've been trying to say can, that since, have since you before seen the we even towers? left the camp. Have you I can seen make all a the flag, watchtowers? I, they can I, see us climbing. No, they can't. I'll make a fog cloud and we'll be fine. We've got fog I mean, clouds, we've got distractions planned. Where does the fog cloud bit. come from? Or, or... I, I uh, can just do it. Hmm. <laughs> are there watchtowers in the, in, the, in the outer wall? Or is it like... The watchtowers wall, are all, and then fort. The, for, the watchtowers are all in the uh, palisade wall. Okay. Hold Everybody's on. At the gate. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me give mm. you something. Uh... Give me a sec. I thought I had to say. Oh, we're we gonna get a, a visual. Giving you a bit of a. Oh, do we get a map? Visual representation. Boom. Scored. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Mm -hmm. This is what bah, you're looking bah. at right now. Ah. ah. Okay, 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 okay. Love me some visual aids. All right. Woo. So, distraction at the main gate. Or, if we can, near sort of the northeastern wall. We go. Mm -hmm. To the northwestern watchtower. Me and uh wait, Neswin? Hold on. Yes, Neswin. Am I confused? Neswin. Yeah, okay. Neswin. Shoot the guy in the tower, grappling hook in, climb our way up to the tower. Easiest buy. Uh, Dutch, how tall are the cliffs next to the fort? Uh very tall. Okay. Like, not something you can scale. Okay, well, that ruins that idea. Um... <laughs> I like that. Well, how do we get the rest of us up? We've got climbing spikes, we've got rope, we've got everything. We... Rav can we jump, climb. everyone else can climb a rope. If you're worried you can't climb the rope, we can get pitons all the way up like a step ladder or whatever. Ah, uh, fuck. I've I got can, feet. I can, I can okay. make a magic hand that will grab you. I can probably talk myself. Maybe Ferris in with me. The rest of you is. You really think you're going to talk difficult. your way in if someone else is setting the place on fire? Don't you think they're going to be a little too too busy to deal with your crap? Well, <laughs> obviously, if there's someone else is setting the place on fire at the same time, then no. Okay. Make it sure. You know, at this point, Am I I'll fire? do whatever you guys want to do. Where where are we on this, like, relative to the fort uh, here? You have been the traveling right west, side. so you'll be approaching from the east. So you're you're, you're looking at the eastern side, on so the, right. the palace right side of the picture. So is it is it like marshland all the way along the north? Uh, yeah, it slowly transitions into a more rocky plain. Like, okay, okay, okay. The so there'll be it, less right? cover and stuff, yeah. yeah. So there'll be a little less cover. Well, I mean, there's still, like, large the rocks side. and stuff uh, that, that yeah. would, would provide cover, but yeah, th not the cover that a marsh full of trees and bushes yeah. provides you with, no. I like... I like the thought of trying to get up one of the watchtowers from the outside. We, we've yeah, got all the means seat. to climb up. It's more dealing with the guy inside it, or multiple, and making sure we're not seen from anywhere else. Can grab uh, him and throw him out. Well, we can shoot them, but we have to be in there to grab him and throw him out. And to get in there, we've got to climb up. To get we're me not to gonna... the edge, I could just like fist him and toss him out. 
What is it with you and tossing people today? <laughs> no. How are you Your supposed to get up there off. without being spotted in the first place? My pitons. Ah, uh, yes. We've got to get quiet, from the edge of the forest to the foot of the wall and then climb all the way up without anybody out being, cloud. You know, spotting us. But do you don't think they'll be suspicious if there's just a fog cloud on one very specific patch of the split? Oh, like, it's not things. like a immense fog cloud rolling in. It's How big is it? It might be small enough it to that twin... nobody else would know. Um, It's like 20 feet. 20 feet. So you could radius. probably just yeah, fill... Radius. You could fill one watchtower in particular. Plus, as you're as you're looking with Silva's like this thundering storm going on above, uh, like no rain, but there's thunder, lightning. There are some clouds already above the fort, so the fog cloud would not necessarily stand out too much. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, fog cloud in the northeast and watchtower. We all dash to the foot of the wall. Ah, I don't know if I like that. Oh. I think we shoot him. How many people how many people are in in a, the watchtowers? Like I can't part? tell from where you are right now. You're going to have to like get a little closer. I can throw I can throw little knives full of ice that explode when they hit people. Oh, sounds, sounds pretty good. I don't know if oh, that might yeah, I'm that a pretty a up close though. and personal kind of, you know, utility in this situation. I'm not going to be any help with this ranged people in the power axes. situation. I, I mean, I have a crossbow, but that's that's about it. <clears throat> I, 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 I think my mace. I'm going to I'm going to try move. So from the sort of northeast in the marsh. Oh, like I'm gonna try and move around to the to the northeastern side and try and get close enough that I might be able to see any like heads sort of moving in the in the watchtowers on on the wall. Okay. So you're gonna go. You're gonna creep to the edge where there's still like trees and cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, make a perception check. Uh, sixteen. You see, uh, in that watchtower in particular, to the northeastern mm -hmm. one. Uh, you see one Dwendalian soldier wielding a crossbow and holding a torch. It, am I close enough to sort of see his... Like, does he look alert? Does he look on the lookout, perturbed by the storm? Like, how, how vigilant um, does he appear? Storm does not seem to bother him. He is just looking around, uh, kind of looking out of his watch every once in a while, but he seems pretty relaxed. Like... He, he, Okay, I'm gonna look back to the group and sign in thieves' camps, even though I'm probably no one else knows it. That there's one guy in the tower, and then I'm just gonna Maybe sign can normally. You not just make the number one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the one in thieves' camp is three. Yeah. Uh, that's part of the. That's Read part of the confusion the strategy. Yeah. yeah, you realize. <laughs> no, but but like this, like. Just, I don't know, add some extra confusion. It's like, it's like catch a sign. We're all baseball. watching from a distance to watch him do hand gestures, like. <laughs> and, he, and he just goes, Why does he want to go and get a sandwich? <laughs> like, he's just, this is just fucking the ring all over again. He's just. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I and I can't, I can't just go to the bed. <laughs> I sl I'll slowly track my way back. All right, there's, there's one guy in that watchtower. I think we could take him down with some well-placed arrows, and then we just scurry up there. So you don't want to distract or no? I throw an X. I mean, I the distraction mm -hmm. couldn't hurt while we're... Yeah. Okay. Distract Distraction. I distract. I distract. Yeah. What were you going to use to set a fire? I can set a fire on the other side of the fort while you guys go there. Mm. The, walls are made of, the, walls, the walls are made of wood. I can just run in, set one of the right, palisade walls Right, palisade walls don't oh. quite burn like tinder, right? It's not that easy. Oh, wait, well... He start a hell of a fire for those to burn. So. Oh. Um. I'll just scream very loud and run. My that works. My, that works. My difficulty with a distraction is that for now, they're not suspicious in any way above the normal. Hmm? Huh? Because things are all as they seem. If we start a distraction, even if it's on the other side, are they going to be in an elevated sense of 
No, it's one screaming goblin. I mean, it's oh, goblin. They're probably always looking for people. I'm, I'm, as I'm sure there's creatures that make all sorts of kerfuffle, given that they're in a swamp, and we've it's seen word, how many things... Yeah, it's a good word. We've seen yeah, how many like things, bubble. like, creatures come in... Like, it, like, walking through these marshes that we've nearly encountered or have encountered. I'm sure they might just think it's, oh, another weird marsh creature. No offense. <laughs> I, I think the distraction is a solid idea. I Maybe will. Rocks at and, and Morgan kind of goes through uh, his pouch. Okay. I'm going to run to the southeastern watchtower. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw one of these up there. And, and he holds up like a little a little vial with with green liquid. Okay. If I hit the guy, I do. So screaming at him, screaming bloody murder, and they'll come chase me. What's in it? I'll just mass it. Oh, okay. That'll hurt. Christ. So I, I run up, streets of throw this up, school. and just don't drink that. Start running. They're they're, they're bound to at least send. A, a small group of soldiers out to, to come chase me. He's not going to come on his own. And then I just run oh, back into the marsh. Ten, especially, say say things like, oh, Twendalians suck, and uh, just things that'll piss them off, oh. then they'll really want to come after you. Like, you then you're not just a creature. Now you're, Then you're just, like, oh, you're, you're, you're insulting them. Yeah, yeah, that's like, a good really... one. Fuck their mother? No, yep. tell them. Okay. That, that one works really well. Tell them you already did. That makes them really angry. I fucked Ooh. your mother, you Dwendalian dog. How does that sound? Yes! Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. We're really about to get this man killed. Right, and, it, and if, it they, if, they, if they do chase after you, we'll meet you at the tree that we camped at last night. Okay. Just right. remember, just in case you guys get lost, seven miles straight east. Okay, that's where the tree is. Seven miles. Aye. Okay. Seven miles. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, you still have that map, uh, right? Got... The, the, the marsh? And he looks at you, Ferris. Okay. You'll be able to find it. Oh, let me, let me circle it. Who's, map, who's got balls in? Comes over to you and, and like, draws a circle around the area where you camped last night, Ferris. I'll knock an arrow. I'm going to hold up got an axe. It. Okay. Oh, I just, can't just use magic. Let me, do you want me to go now while you take him I, out? I, or do you. I, maybe wait till we make the fog how about, cloud? How about this? We're making a fog cloud? Go about 120 feet that way. And when we're ready for you to make a distraction, I will message you. Okay. Perfect. What, what, what would be ideal leave. is, so he's not moving, you know, alerted or anything. We take him out, immediately put the fog cloud up so no one sees us climbing up. And then the distraction starts so that, you know, well, draws the attention away from that tower. All right? Yeah. So, we'll take him out. Uh, Elias sends a message. Nathan puts up the fog cloud. I'll throw up the grappling hook. Oh, well, I'll probably get someone else to throw it because it didn't go too well. Tazris, maybe. It. And as we climb up, we'll just slam in pitons as we go. Make it easier for everybody. I'll put pitons on the right side. Uh, Tazris, you put pitons on the left side. So I've got some handholds, you know. Right? Mm -hmm. And then everyone can climb up easy peasy. All right. Sounds good. I'll take out my bow. Nothing error. a good liar? More so than I am great. Average. I'm great too. No, nope. I was told it's bad to lie, so <laughs> I could probably be good at it. Go back to sleep now. That in itself was a lie, so oh, I'm just thinking that it might be <clears throat> worth trying to strip this corpse of its armor. Uh, Ooh. probably wouldn't fit me too well. It takes time. Armor's hard. That too. <clears throat> How high is the yeah. wall of the watchtower? Lots As you get closer to the palisade, uh, you see that the uh, palisade that encloses Fort Venture stands over 10 feet high and is topped by huge spikes. The gate in the middle of the east wall flanked by two watchtowers and appears that appears to be the only way in or out of the complex. Um, you see tall grass and knotted brambles uh, partially obscure a well-trodden path that winds up to the gates from the marsh, and rows of spiked barricades encircle the palisade, completing the appearance of a well-fortified military outpost. Spiked barricades that wouldn't stop sort of a single-file no, no, approach, no. right? Well, so like, we wouldn't just be like able to crowd like, it. Like, 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 it's very typical, yeah. you know, like it's wooden spikes, like kind of crisscross, right. uh, that, those things. Okay. Um... <clears throat> 
All right, I will um, take aim. I will also take. How far away is this? I will take oh, aim oh. as well. Um, if it's if it's te it's oh, only it's ten feet high. Uh, so yeah, I, so do, uh, if you're going to like the edge, so say you're at uh, that like big tree, like uh, mm -hmm. on like the north, like the the furthest west tree. You'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. You'll be about thirty feet away from the watchtower. I see Tazar's going to like throw his axe. I'm just there, like, um, it's a bit, um, shouldn't should do that one. Yeah, but it's um not as uh next time. Yeah, you you. I know you can throw good, but next time, yeah, buddy. That's okay. You put that axe away now, okay? Ferris, did you save the crossbow? Ferris. No. Yeah, yeah, I have a crossbow. Yeah. I might as well throw that in the mix as well. We need this guy to stay dead. Oh, so, uh, I'll, I'll knock. Sure who all is knocking an arrow? I don't want a firebolt. I guess I'm, I'm knocking one if they want me to. I'm getting just kind of surprised a little as he puts his hand. What right spell? Hey, one what's that up? can't miss. Is it a, uh, one of those weird brain tricks? No, it's just I'm oh, just here. going to put arcane force through his head. Also, That's I'm great. gonna. I'm How loud gonna... is that? So. So I'm and I'm gonna touch um, right before we're gonna fire. So uh, Elias, you're firing some um, something as well. I'm going to cast magic missile. So if you're going to do something like that, probably literally can't miss. It can't miss. Then instead, who else? Uh, and then it was. Who do you think's a shitter shot? Yeah. Who? Who? But I'm just gonna ask. Would anyone like a little extra extra guidance on this, like celestial guidance, just to ensure? I'll take well? any help that you've got going. You know, okay. if that's what you want to do. I need to. I mean, more than I do. Okay, so. I'll go ahead and cast guidance on. <laughs> oh, thank you. So you have a D4. I appreciate that. So all yeah. of you who are uh, doing a ranged attack uh, on this guard, mm -hmm. yeah, draw your attacks. Do I have advantage? Ooh, twenty-one. I'm rolling an attack. I'm casting at first level, by the way. But twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need the guidance. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I need the guidance. Oh, well, too bad you didn't ask for it. I'm so. gonna... 27. Quit the game. What did you Sucks roll, Duke? Duke? I've got a 12. That doesn't hit. So we've had it's a 12, like a 21, reversed. and a 20. Uh, I'm gonna use 27. 27. I'm gonna use my reaction uh, to Chrono Shift oh. for Ludwig. Oh, okay. Oh, real for me. I thought you were gonna do it for yourself. No. I okay, can't change. I can only. I can't change damage rolls. So Sixteen. I'm doing it for you. Sixteen just hits. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. baby. There you go. Probably. So all of you, all of you hits, and Elias naturally hits because magic missile. Magic murder. missile. I rolled three ones on my three d four. Man, that's still, oh! that's still I, six damage, right? Because it's uh, plus I did one nine points yeah. of damage. I rolled a nine seven on my d eight, so that's eight points of damage from me. Twenty three. Piercing. I'm guessing I don't have sneak attack, right? Really. You do, absolutely. You should do surprise. He doesn't see coming. Sneak! Okay. Just murk this man. Yeah. Or woman. Or person. Why do you think I made okay. you hit? You're going to guarantee <laughs> that he's dead before he hits the ground. Or a woman, so we hope, anyways. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping he just gets out. so full of arrows <laughs> just out of nowhere. Just, uh. <laughs> I, I rolled really bad, so 10 points of damage. Okay, so that's 33 points of damage total that this guy just gets, gets hit with all at the same time. As these three magical arcane darts just fly, fly at him. Two arrows just plant themselves in his like chest and face area, and one crossbow bolt. This guy is super dead, and he, there's not even, <laughs> not, even, not even so much as a peep. Just a very, very like clumsy. <clears throat> as his okay. body just collapses. I will cast fog cloud at the top of the wall, so that it makes it like it's still cascading down. Okay. So no one sees his body slump to the ground. And yeah, we'll begin to run forward to throw Yeah, I'll just hook. stop booking it. Stop booking it for the base yeah. of the wall with Tazarus. Same. Immediately. Let's go, hook. Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah, oh I Elias, mean, you need to message Morgan. I will message Morgan before we set up. What you just get message? back. You just get back. Okay. And <laughs> as, as that happens... Uh, as you're climbing the tower and you're doing it the pipe, the, 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 the fucking pitons, yeah. and pitons. 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 The pitons. pitons as well, just for the Piton. less yeah, nimble. I mean, with, with so many of you there, we'll just say that. Take you, take you, take you a few minutes, but eventually you all make it into the tower. And at that point you just hear. But it took Ludwig 40 seconds. It's just. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. On the dots. Crazy. 
Um, you, just, you start hearing some One, kerfuffle going down on the other side of the, the, side of the fort, uh, or uh, the fort ground for you, as you see a, 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 a squad of about ten soldiers just running out the palisade and towards the marsh, and you just see in the distance, disappearing into the marsh, this hobgoblin just, just running. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelled of <laughs> elderberries. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> Um, so you are now in the northeastern watchtower. Mm -hmm. Well, damn. Looking out uh, of the watchtower, you see a group of cages. Uh, like, directly to your right. Um, you see... Let me, let me have a look. Directly to your right, you see uh, four cages, one of which seems to have a prisoner in it. And looking to your left, you see what looks like... But it looks like kennels of some sort. Uh, no, I'm lying. I'm lying. No, no, kennels. You see uh, these smaller cages that just has these like mean-looking mastiffs in them. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we don't like that. Yeah, we do. Which is like the mastiffs in the cages are a little further south, like the that that block <laughs> of six cages on the map. Yeah. And... Is there more than one per cage? Yes. Oh god. And the four, so, the four massive cages that you see, like more to your right, uh, one of which seems to have a prisoner in it. The other three I'm are empty. I'm guessing our goal is to get to the big, the building, the biggest building in this thing, because we think that's where she'll be. Oh, there's a prisoner. Right? Well, can we tell if the prisoner's male or female from here, or not really? Uh, oh, goblinoid. Make a perception check. Okay. Um. Oh no. Seventeen. Okay. You see, by these prison, uh, by, by these by these cages, uh, there's two guards sitting at a table, uh, not paying attention at all. They seem to be playing a, uh, a card game. Uh, but you see, both of these guards have uh, have a key ring uh, hanging from their belt, and you can see okay. inside this cage. Um, you see, what seems like. Uh, a humanoid figure, uh, robes, wearing some kind of, 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 of symbol uh, around his neck. Um, doesn't seem to match the description of Goblin. Uh, I don't think that's a guy. Or girl. Whatever. We, yeah, I figured, yeah, I figured she'd be kept mm. in the main building. They're, you know, keep Maybe you can help, though. I mean, we could still try and free that person on our way in. Just add a little more chaos and do a or little Or find a shit good. and take it. It would be better if we tried on our way out. We don't have a lot of time to be. That's true. But I mean, aren't are all those dogs going to start barking as soon as we get down there? Oh, we got to kill the guards for sure. Yeah, and they have keys. Well, the guards aren't paying too much attention. Stay clear. Just well, stay I'm clear. not exactly stealthy. Mm. We skirt around you think? the wall of... But we also have to climb maybe. down from here. Is we it a ladder or is it stairs to um, exit this watchtower? Ladder. Ladder. It looks like so, stairs. Yeah, we kind of oh, have I to. Be a ladder. We kind no, of have to ladder. climb down a ladder, single okay. file. That's not, you know. Are the guards facing us? We're only ten feet up. We can um, just jump. They're currently uh, sitting at the table that you see, like to the right of that tent. Um, sure. they're sitting at the table. Uh, no, <laughs> none, neither of them is looking directly at your direction. Triple triad. Uh, but we're in like one's like peripheral vision. If we, we try and kill him, or uh, well, no, I think. Can we just try and knock him out? Just like bop him on the head real good. I think we should be wary of the dogs. Yeah, I, I'm because they'll they'll make noise. They'll yeah. they'll they alert could, the whole camp. I could smell. make it. Okay. I could make it Grant, so that they smell me. That still, while all this is going on, there's just. <laughs> The, the thunder yeah. and lightning is still happening, so there is a lot of noise going on. So keep that in mind. In your the dogs are already process. going off. Like, yeah. But keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. in your thought process. Like, it, it's not. Are, are it's not already... very quiet around you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Dogs, thunder and lightning. Are they like freaking out already? Uh, the occasional bark, but they seem pretty chill. It seems like they've gotten used to it. They've got used to it. Okay. I mean, maybe we just try to walk by. Yeah. Um. I don't think. <laughs> are there any other yeah, guards, like, around strike? the area? Um, besides the two guards at the table, uh, 
The nearest group of guards you see is um, um, at the training yard. They're kind of doing like a training session, which is that like large patch of like ground uh, directly in the middle, pretty much. Okay. The dog cages. Yes. From this, is, can we tell if they are also like locked cages, or if they're simply just you open them from the outside? You see that the doors are closed. You don't know whether they're locked or not. Okay. <laughs> I guess we just try to walk around. There's Why no don't? Other... Yeah, I we think can we just go down. I think and with, walk. The, with the noise and everything, we don't have to worry too much about the dogs. I think we try to take care of those guards and get the keys, though. Okay. I could always attempt to send an unseen servant. To what? Take the keys? To take the keys. How stealthy is it? It's invisible. I yeah, take it the keys. The keys turn invisible. <laughs> I never really tried to pick so pickpocket someone with an unseen servant. Wouldn't it look weird if your keys are just floating? It depends how distracted they are by their card game, I guess. Either that, or we just go down and kill them before they can talk to anyone. Again, Why do we have to go down to kill them? just bop them on the head, knock them out. Why do you have to go down to do that? Listen, I'm Ludwig Flintlock, mastermind rogue of the Menagerie Coast. I'll just slither over there. Take some... I've stolen more keys from guards than you've seen... Birds. Well, do I need know. the keys? Well, there's a big fucking fort. We, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt. Can you pick locks? Aye. Well, okay. These are irrelevant, surely. And You're Ludwig Flicklock from the Menagerie <laughs> Coast, whatever. <laughs> Mastermind Rogue. Man keeps Mastermind telling us Rogue, that he can yeah. pick locks when in reality he just has a really long set of keys like that one guy in the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> and just lock picking for him is just going through all the keys he's collected over the years. Oh my god. Well, whatever I we mean, do, we gotta make a decision and do it fast. We just, sure. we just, just go down and, you know, walk like we, we, we belong here. We don't belong here. And we That's the worst here. idea I've heard yet. I said that we just the, go in, you know. I'm. When do I get to kill something? We, we, we attempt to be as stealthy as possible. If they see us, we kill them before they raise the alarm. Simple. Yeah. I hate I've this never been so a stealthy much. person, but okay. Well, then we... It's fine. I'm sure you can do it. I'm going to nimbly hop down from the tower. And as you all yeah. uh, hop down from the tower, I would like you all to roll stealth checks. With disadvantage, because me. Shall Ludwig <laughs> and I go clank, clank, first clank. and attempt to go around the other side of these guards? Yikes. Oh, wait, I'm going down first, too. Are you? I'm yelling yeah. timber. I mean, for disadvantage, that's okay. not terrible. Uh-oh. I rolled a 10. So. Oh. Okay. I rolled yeah, a 30, no, 20. No, I lied. I rolled a 12. It's a oh. plus one. Not a hey. One. Oh. Now that changes things. Um, <laughs> you, are you, you going, like, are you just going down like, along the way? I... What I, are you doing? That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. I'm just trying to like, quickly, like, but when you're... Um, well, yeah, but once we get down the ladder, then we're going to go along the inside of the wall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you yeah, managed to sneak side. by. Um, well, I was rolled a six. Oh, you rolled a six? Oh, rolled a six. I wasn't even the least healthy one. Fuck yeah. Okay. I just advantage two. Well, what did, what did you guys roll? What did all of you roll? I rolled 11. 19. 16. 30, 20. Okay, okay. 12. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Flora rolled better than I did. The guards don't seem to see you. Wow. The prisoner, oh. however, immediately. Oh. Hugs his cage. Hello. Oh, fuck. And Nesbitt's Nesbitt, like, I'm just going to. <laughs> shh, 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 as we sneak by. Nesbitt's waving. I'm so going to try mouth, mouth, like not saying words, but make my lips really obvious. Like, just like, we'll come back for you. I'm going to mind yeah. my axe at him. I'm going to thieves can't. We'll come back for you as well. Yeah. He lets go of his. He lets go of his, um, like the 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 cage. He just kind of stands in the middle, arms folded, and just closes closes his eyes and seems to seems to seems to start waiting. 
Oh, All right. Okay. Well, we've committed now. We Ooh, said so many mixed messages. Oh, we've not co we've not committed to saving it. I've committed. And you make your way past the guards <laughs> who seem to be too enthralled by their card game to notice anything. Oh. Uh, and you make your way um, halfway down the wall. Where do you go now? As you're kind of like, you're kind of at the wall between the small tent and the bigger tent. But keep in mind that you are getting closer and closer to the watchtower. Which tent yeah, do we duck yeah. into? Because mm -hmm. we should duck into one. Wait, As we're like walking one. in that like between area, can we see if there's anyone at the front of that large tent? I'll make a perception check. Roll high. Ooh, fucking 20. Nope, 16. I led. 20, 16. Um, smoke rises from uh, this 13, tent, 18. which strikes you as um, odd. You see um, nobody outside the tent, but uh, you do hear clang, clang, clang coming from inside, seeming like, like a smithing noise. You recognize the sound. I think we fog cloud. In, well, if we can fog cloud again in that other watchtower, and then we make uh, our way along the back of the large tent. Is it, is it also just one guard in the other watchtower? Yes. Want to see me um, do it again? Kill him, I mean, <laughs> I, <laughs> we stay behind the tent so no one else can see us. We take out that guy in the watchtower, the one who can potentially look this way. You know what burns better than a palisade? Tent fabric. Oh. Uh, and so, they might think it's just a blacksmith fire gone wrong. Because exactly. there's already smoke. So we duck gone behind wrong. the tent. We kill the gone guy sexual. in the watchtower. We blacksmith burn the in. blacksmith's tent. Okay. So you... Okay, YouTube. Get ready. Who's all shooting at the guy in the, the watchtower? I'll shoot again. And I'll cast Guidance yeah, not, on... on I'm not asking like, for it. I'm well, not I, asking I know, for but, it. I know, but after last time, I'm casting it on you anyway. <laughs> right. I so mean, what does guidance do? Is it a D4? It's a D4 yeah. added to you. I'm gonna throw After a hand last axe. Time. You mean you last time you hit oh, an amazing I'm gonna throw a hand axe. Yeah. Do it. I see you go for that. I did say, like, well, I did say next time, so yeah, go as ahead. As far as everyone else knows, <laughs> Ludwig hit an amazing shot last time. That's true. Ooh, I should have given myself. I mean, giving this guidance to me wouldn't have helped anyway. I'm gonna that. use Fireball instead of, um, instead of Magic Missile this time. Okay. That cool. sounds. Yeah, Terrible. Look, it's either a guaranteed fucking six, or I just. So, uh, favors, what do you roll? A five. Misses. Yep. Ludwig? There goes that. 22. Ball. 22 hits. Oh. Uh, Neswin? 10. 10? Doesn't hit. Yep. Oh. Elias? Uh, fucking 24. Hits. Uh, Tazarus? <laughs> Thank God. 10. 10? Yeah. Doesn't hit. So just Ludwig and Elias. Ludwig, you do get sneak attack damage, though. You better roll big. No pahmies. <laughs> There's been so distracted by a hand axe, though, that I, like, mm -hmm. just forget to shoot properly. I'm just like, whoa. I rolled a two. Nice. I, rolled, I rolled a three on my dice. <laughs> so two plus three. I'm yeah, not using my last three roll of plus the day seven. for this guy. <laughs> I'll just fucking nuke him if needs So. Be. Damage. Uh, Elias. Seven. Seven? Ludwig? Sixteen. So 23 points of damage total. As the hand axe just slams into 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 the tower wall, a couple of arrows go... go or an arrow and a bolt just fly past. One arrow strikes through and a firebolt, seemingly enough to take him down as this guard now also crumbles. Oh, okay. Excellent. Get that back. Hello? D, D go away. Yeah, literally. Um, What's so the this... Dutch for D and D go away? <coughs> Nothing. It doesn't exist. Uh, D &D, piss no, off. You take down the guard. Guard slumps down, and you take that opportunity to like just kind of dive behind the blacksmith uh, tent. Mm -hmm. And there, I would like to pose to take a little break because I gotta go okay. walk a dog. Yes. Okay. But, I was actually okay. gonna let this dog out as well. Yeah, so uh, we'll be oh. back in uh, a little bit. I gotta go walk a dog, and uh, we'll continue uh, the infiltration of Fort. Venture. It's, it's going shockingly smooth, it's going which means I'm well. terrified for what's going to happen because there's no way it keeps up <laughs> it's like going this. Pretty well. Make the most of it because my character isn't going to be this still be ever. So again. we'll be right back, guys. Um, quick Goodbye. thank you to uh, Dev, 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 and Virus for the follows. You guys are homies. Appreciate y'all. Uh, we'll be back in uh, a little bit.
stick around. Tell your friends you're watching D&D. Tell them to come over here and follow the channel. I'll be right back. Let's go outside. Come on. No, don't. No, don't take
I'm showing. They, they were wondering why I wasn't leaving, and it was because it was dead. Hello there. Hi, hi. Hello. We're back. Hi, hi. So, uh, let's just ro get right back into it. Thanks for sticking around through our break, guys. Much appreciated. Um, yeah. So, after taking out the guard in that tower and making uh, a run for the backside of that tent in which you've determined there's some kind of smithing going on, uh, what do you do? Light it on fire. Is it on fire? Keep in mind, it won't light right away because we're in a thunderstorm. It's going to be wet. There's no rain. There's no rain. It's, it's, just, just, it's just, oh, just lightning, lightning and, thunder. and thunder. There's no rain. Oh, okay. Yeah, I sparked Even that better. shit up. Okay, so you light up my uh, tinderbox. You light up the tent. Yep. And within seconds, you just you just see just this flaming gulf just overtake this this tent uh, canvas, and from the inside, you just hear "What in the bloody hell?" As as you you hear some the, the smithing stop, and you just hear just like <laughs> of of the footsteps like of of someone leaving the tent. Um, what do you do while this is going on? We start making a dash for that for that north yeah. wall of the yeah. the main building. Yeah, there is a conveniently placed rock uh, by that uh, wall that would provide you with some cover. Um, okay. Super cool. Yeah. Yeah. How nice we all hide behind that? Nesrin probably have already been hiding there. Like once we like, you wouldn't okay. got to do I mean, it's not necessarily to, uh... a hiding place, but it's something that breaks line of sight with like the eastern yeah. side yeah. of of, uh, of the. The, the fort. It's a place to stop for a second. Or Are something. there any windows in the yeah. building? Let me have a little look for you. Even I don't any know. Windows, any windows? Oh, so there's not anything indicated, so I'm not Weaknesses sure. in the wall. Um, any magic paint? As you uh, approach this, um, is this building made of, um, excuse me, freshly quarried rocks, really, um, Breaking out of the the, the, the the distinct mossy charm of, of the surroundings that you've been getting used to up until uh, this point. Um, <clears throat> no windows are set in the stone walls, uh, and a wide iron banded double door is it keeps only entrance that you spotted previously on the uh, eastern side. That's cringe. The tent. What do we want to do? South side of the. Uh, four. Mm -hmm. Are they tents? Yes. Okay. I mean, do we want to get everyone looking in the other direction while one local attempts to open the door in case it's locked? Uh, how would we do that? Well, what no, I'm a little worried that locked? fire is gonna cause a problem because, I mean, the fire is sort of yeah. right there and we're right here. We might have to well, go I can around. Light some of those on the other side of the. Well, there's two watchtowers on the west side that we'll have to go past if we want to sneak around. I doubt we're going to make it around the front because of the fucking fire right there. You did you say there's there was a window in the building? No, that we could no. no. Damn. If I peek around the rock, just like you know, the little mm -hmm. little peek. How many guards are at that tent? Uh, like a good handful of guards have collected around the tent and are trying to put the fire out, and they seem <laughs> very busy doing that. Bless you. They're very distracted I mean, right now. Let's go. I was going to say, I think they wouldn't lock the door because there's already all these extra precautions to keep people out. So I think we should just try and make How a run for it. How far away are we from the door, roughly? Uh, On the map, we're that little rock. It's about 20 yeah. feet to get to the corner, and then there's another 10, 20, 30, like 40, 40 feet to get to 40 the door. Feet. Okay. So we could dash there eventually. Mm -hmm. But going that way will take you right past the people that are putting out the tents, and you will get seen yeah, even like though a... they're busy. Like, you'll be right next to them. Uh, so so where are they in regards to the blacksmith's tent? Like, are they on the, like... At it. They're yeah. at it. They're all putting collected the fire around, around it. it. Yeah, they're at the it. It's a big tent, though. Like, are they on the... We just spread around. around. Just spread around. Like, yeah. There's all, from, all okay. different angles trying to put out the fire that now we, has engulfed the entirety just, of the tent. We could just start slinging arrows into the mess. <laughs> I could... I think we should just go around the, the back of the tent and light a murder time. The we more can't eastern tent on fire. And then they're gonna go for that one as well. Mm. The other tent next to the blacksmith's tent. If I like that, they're gonna look at that way. And we're gonna go to the door. Oh, uh, 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 Rav, don't you have, like, something that explodes? Uh, just ice. <clears throat> you say ice? Yeah, 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 I have this thing where, like, I throw it 
like an ice knife. Then it kind of goes and oh. makes everyone real cold. Ah, fuck. Um, I mean, I can make a big gust of wind happen. Could, well, in theory, a big gust of wind could spread the fire onto the other tent. Mm. Or it could put it out. It's or about 50-50. It no, I, well, it's really going now. We'd have to be unlucky. Yeah. We'd have to be lucky for it to spread, though. Um, I'm thinking... Mm, I could throw a torch. I could mess with the prisoner and get them to be a distraction. I, I, how how far is it like from here? Uh, uh, oh, quite far. It's like sixty. To the door. You think you could camp. from here to the small tent? You really think you could huck a torch unseen? I could light it from here. I mean, oh, you could, could could light an arrow on fire. I don't. I mean, I go to the back side of the blacksmith's tent. I peek around the corner. I light the other tent. On fire, I come back. They look at the there, other tent. There, there's the people around the back around of that the tent. tent now. They're all around it. I could light it from here as long as they don't see the fireball. Oh, I feel like we fucked ourselves a little bit setting that fire. I feel like we might have just, just fucked ourselves a tiny bit. Okay, we'll kill them all in one hit. I think what we have to do is I go. I use my lightning breath. I don't think it would kill them, but they might just think it was the natural lightning and a bunch of them getting hit. I might be able to steer some of them away. I think we go west. Kill the guy in that tower. Come around the corner. Kill the guy in the other tower. Come around the corner. Kill the guy in the other oh tower. God. And then set all of those tents on fire instead. And then they'll all, you know, go around. Okay. This is lengthy, but okay. <laughs> That is a possibility. Um, we could also get the prisoner that we saw earlier to make a distraction of some kind. If he can make a distraction, why is he in there? If he's in there, uh, but, uh, sure he doesn't want to get. He could be distracting killed. enough to make them look away from us. Dutch, the guy in the watch, the watchtower behind us. Mm -hmm. I shoot. Is the guy? Is the guy now have turned around because of the fire, or is he like still looking away? Like uh, out, he seems out. to be looking at the fire, but he doesn't quite have line of sight on you because of the angle. Uh, but you like, oh, okay. he def he's definitely looking into that direction, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, it's I kind mean, of hard to see, like, how tall is the building? Proposed. How tall is this building? Yeah. Um. Let's <laughs> now find out. Um, it doesn't see. Um, I mean, it's a four, so reasonably tall, yeah. right? Like, I'd say, um, it, it's definitely taller than walls, uh, for sure. Um, and, and, and it's completely, like, like sleek. There's no real, like, brick oh, okay. sticking out or anything. Well. It's just, like, it, it looks very nice and neat compared to the, the state of the rest of the fort, which have been, like, tents and shit. All right. Well, there goes that. Are idea. there any? Are there any like windows or anything up no. higher? No windows at all. Like if you were able to climb up. No windows at all. Okay, but well, like windows. at the very top, is it just like an open floor? Is it like steeple? You can't say. You can see. You see. Like there's nothing like sticking out from the roof, but you don't know what's up there. Okay. okay. Do I try something to get them to look the other direction, and then we run for the door? Or are we going round and killing? Hopefully killing three I more. prefer the run for the door plan, but I, I'll do whatever. I mean, so far it's been working, so I'll trust... I'll I can trust hold the, the door. door. Uh, do we think we run, we are... If we run for the door, we run right past the tank. I could swipe at him. I think I might be able to uh, maybe get them to move towards the other tent or the prisoner. Maybe. <clears throat> I've got one idea, and I can mm. try it, and it won't directly give us away if it doesn't work, and if it doesn't work, we just go around and we kill all the guards in the watchtowers. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to pick one guard at random in the group that are tending to the fire. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to cast a message. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna say it was the prisoner. 
Oh no, I don't like that. Okay. Oh, make a we're deception gonna get killed. We're gonna get oh, the guy killed. No. He said we don't score. Well, they never said we. Uh, I. Uh, natural 20, 23. Oh. Hell. He's dead. You just hear him yell. It was the prisoner. Let's get him. And and. Oh no. All the guards <laughs> just yeah they fucking leave that area and they much like uh, their commander. Right, let's go to the door. Let's light. go. All right, as soon as, soon as they start moving, I'm gonna go to the door. Let's go. Make use of it. <laughs> Make use of this man's death. I'm gonna knock an arrow as well. Get ready. Get ready to I mean, fire. How stupid are they? He's locked in a cage. I'm sure they'll figure it out. If not, say let me. Okay. Um, no, the door does appear to be locked. I immediately whip out my thieves' tools. Okay, make me uh, make me a check with those. What is it? Dex, uh, Dex, 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 plus Dex, 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 plus uh, proficiency. proficiency. Yeah. Oh, can I plus get your thieves' oh, tools? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast themselves. guidance as he goes to pick the lock. Okay, I'm gonna okay. like touch his back. <sighs> Got that in before the, the roll. Oh, of your life. fuck me! My Natural. fucking. You have guidance. Oh. <laughs> Cool. It's plus... guy's just D4, oh, I rolled right? a four on the D four. Okay. Are we fucked if we don't get in here? Maybe. That's an eleven. No. Eleven. You start like just like putting the locket, the pick in, and it's kind of you feel some leeway and uh, nothing on two. <laughs> nothing on two. Three is but binding. Three is binding. <laughs> um, you're not quite there yet, but you definitely feel like. A little more would, would do it. Can I just have at it again? Sure. You pick them and breaks. Just don't so roll a one, so your lock pick. That breaks. was a natural two, so it can't get much worse. Yeah, okay, easy. Keep I don't get guidance twice, do I? No, no. no. Not unless I, you okay. I, you ask me to do it again, but to, to, I I won't do it because to me it looks like you're still doing the first pick, so I don't. Okay, twenty one. And you pull the pick out, and you grab the handle of the door, and you pull it open. Woo. Go, go, go. Inside, we shut the door. Easy as pay. Yeah. <laughs> There's 50 guards in this room. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> it's the fucking Halo They're having a meeting. Scene. I don't They're like the expression the that just went club. across your face, Dutch. <laughs> no, I know. I saw that little yeah. smirk as soon as they said 50 guards in there. I was like, oh, what's um, the You look in. Lego Stormtrooper bathtub. <laughs> you look into uh, the, 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 the main hall of the um, keep. Mm hmm. Hold on, and you see a bunch of um, long tables um, with a lot of seats around them. You 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 guess that this is probably where all the guards um, have their like have their breaks. But um, all you see right now is on the other side of this large hall is another door. Just a man waiting, and. You see two guards at that door on the other side of the hall. And they haven't seen us? Um, not yet. Who has a passive perception of 12 or higher? I do. I do. You notice everyone a... but Everyone but me. Okay, you notice a... There is the look unwise. of discomfort and unease at the watch. Uh, though they do stand there maintaining their watch dutifully. Uh, they seem on edge. And, um, you also hear There's torture coming. echoing through this chamber, coming from behind the door, the muffled screams of pain and agony. Oh, boy. Okay. Is there, um, a, like, a wooden bar or something to put on the door? Or is it just the lock there? There's not, like, the Like, little... the door we just came through. Yeah, there's, like, a way to, like, bar it, maybe? Um... Yeah, there is. There is like a, a bar I on the inside that you can use to, like to barricade it. Yep. Bar it while like looking at the guards. I'm There's going a, uh, to twenty foot long iron crossbar on the inside that you can nice. put in place. Yeah, I'll fucking let that up. That's a fucking big bar. Holy oh, shit, yeah. boy! <laughs> I'm a big boy. If, if, <laughs> yeah, slowly, looks... quietly, twenty foot no, but it's, fucking it's like, good. It's like All he has to do is just like he lower it down to, to, put it in, to, yeah. to put it in place, to like lock it in place. Yeah, yeah right. Like what? Yes, but you know, I'm doing it. All right. Okay. I mean, yeah. I, think right, that, I just I'm doing it. I look at uh, Ludwig. With that like logic, you ready. would have pushed the door open. By the way, Ludwig, not Paul. That you would have pushed it open. Oh, well. With that logic, okay. Because or else, I, I look right. at Ludwig as I'm, and I like 
yeah. go to knock another arrow. Uh, so yeah, you close the door. Uh, with that, um, you make you make some noise, and these guards both Hold on. see you. And just I have weapons. a re real quick. So yes. I have a a passive insight. Okay, of sixteen. All uh -huh. right. Now, how happy do these guys look? to be here right now with what's going on. They seem very uncomfortable and uneasy, but at the same time, you also can read off of their 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 face that their orders were watch the chapel door. They shall watch the chapel door. I'm going to like, as they as they go to ready their weapons, I'm just going to mm -hmm. step forward like, all right, boys, let's not be too hasty here. You're choosing diplomacy or death? Yeah. State your business. Who are you? My name is Ludwig Flintlock, and I think you've got something that we need. I'll step alongside Ludwig. They, they look at each other. What would that be? I believe there's a wee goblin there that we need to take care of. And you don't all seem too happy about it either. I don't know what he's talking about. And he unsheaths his sword. And his uh, compatriot follows suit. Do you want me to try something, Ludwig, or do we? Want oh, what will it be, boys? Diplomacy or death? Make a persuasion check. Or I'm uh, good at these. I guess this could be an intimate. You know, diplomacy or death it could be intimidating. Whichever one's better for you. You can, you can, you can choose either. Whichever one's better. Yeah. I'll assist you if you want. I say, unless you're proficient. Twenty-two. Oh shit. They look at each other. They, they start whispering to each other. And they sheath their swords and oh. just walk towards you. Huh? This isn't worth it. And There's they, a big fire outside. You might want to go I can here. Knock you out. Actually, oh, that's, 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 that's a good idea. Um. Just knock us make out. it look just like you put up a fight. I'll punch yeah. him in the face. And then can I just take the hilt of my mace on the other one? Yeah, sure. And just like do a uh, Both of you roll an attack. That one's it D somehow. Dirty 20. It's. Uh, do I just add my strength, I guess? Yeah. When I'm strike. Just punch them. Uh, 23. Yeah, you both hit and they just, they just like both take a hit to the temple and they mm. just fall over. Yeah. Uh, nice. I'm not. I'm not gonna waste my rope. But if someone wants to tie him up, and I'll start making tools. I'll rope. I'll tie him up with my rope. Actually, I can I quickly chat them for keys or anything? Uh, yes, you can. And they do seem to have uh, a ring with a key, which you imagine would be right. for the chapel door, since they're the ones in charge of yep. watching it. Okay. All right. I tie Next them up issue. together. Mm. This uh, uh, whatever his name is is probably going to be in there. Like, right. Again, diplomacy or death. Pass. Uh, I kill him. Grow. Nah, kill him. I, I think he sounds like the kind of guy who deserves the death, to be honest. Like, do you hear co know. what's coming from that room? I can go both. Again, you just, you just hear yells of Let's mm -hmm. just move. Right, let's just we'll go. go. Yeah, let's stop yeah. time wasting. We got I'll a bad guy to kill, guys. Door. Let's do this. I can, and like, before I open up. the door, I'm going to bang on my chest. And activate my giant's might, Ooh. and I grow Ooh. to large, Ooh. So like Ooh. Ooh. tall, tall nice. cool. big beef boy. Then I rip open the door. You rip open the you rip open the chapel door. Key. Rip open the chapel door. As as it's unlocked, or just gonna keep it locked and just try and pull it open. Just rattle, 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 rattle. Shit. Mm -hmm. I'll try rattle on its hinges first. I mean, okay. Uh, make strength check. It's more intimidating. <laughs> oh, please fuck this up. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, 21. 21, yeah. You just rip the door off the hinges and just... And as you look inside, you see a feet. cramped room lit by the flickering flames of two small braziers suspended from the ceiling. In the center of the room, a Dwendalian Inquisitor stands above a bloody stone altar, clutching a crimson stained mace in his prosthetic right hand. On the altar, a goblin, a goblin struggles furiously against the chains that bind her. Yep. With a Dwendalian guard looking on with glee and disgust. Um, any one of you, the religious type? Me. <laughs> uh, what's your what's your religion? 
Okay. Like the, oh, the modifier, yeah, the yeah, skill, yeah. or like yeah, my yeah. actual. Yeah. No, I'm not uh, proficient. Pl it's a plus two. Yeah, uh, I'm not proficient. Okay. I am proficient. Make a and religion possible. check. I'm not proficient. I'm good. Cleric not proficient in religion. I know. Well, the whole point is she's a cleric who got pseudo kicked out of cleric school, which is trying to prove that she should still be a cleric. I rolled and a also 22. unwise. Yeah, Wait, you're proficient in religion. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. proficient. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I have a plus and uh, Ferris, what did you roll? Oh, I thought I wasn't rolling because I wasn't proficient. Yeah, hey, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. Um, it makes sense 13. for a cleric. To, uh, 13. Thirteen. You both recognize um, the altar that this inquisitor is standing on top of is an altar uh, dedicated to the god of blood, death, and life, Vesh the Bloody Siren. Oh yeah. Nice. Um, you just walk in on uh, the the Inquisitor, uh, Parson Pelanost, the, 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 the commander of this, of this uh, mm -hmm. fort, and one Imperial Guard in the process of torturing Bulbara. Um, Elias, you know that they do this with the intent on it killing her and then just reviving her and repeating the process on and on and on and on and on. Um, <clears throat> you see, you look over at Bulbara and you can see that she's been sitting through this horrific treatment for days, but there is this just like burning rage in her eyes that suggesting that, that she would do equally horrific things in return if she finally gets released from this 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 torturous captivity. Ooh. Um obviously with you ripping door the door off its of its hinges. <laughs> a moment of, of, of silence. And then Parson Pelanos looks up at you, looks up at his guard. Suppose we've both earned a little break. Looks at Bulbara and just whoop, be back for you later. What a dick! And I he, start jamming uh, on my flute. <laughs> I'm to die. So jamming. On your I mean, I'm gonna like. Go yeah, listen. yeah. I wanna, like, I wanna make them frightened of me. Yeah, you, you mean the pipes of haunting? The, 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 pi the pipes yeah, that you yeah, got. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, did you write down the item description that I gave you? Uh, I have it in my inventory. Uh, oh, is it like a like a like an actual yeah. like D and D Beyond? They thing? have nice. three charges. Each character, uh, each creature within 30 feet of you, his must succeed on a DC 15 wisdom saving throw, or become frightened for a minute. Okay. If you wish all creatures in the area that aren't hostile to you automatically succeed. What's uh, what's the DC? You say? Yeah, well, 15. Uh, 15. Uh, they both make the save, unfortunately. No! Sorry. Okay. I would like for you all to roll nice initiative, try. please. Yep. Yo, at least we got a jamming battle song, oh, though. Yay! Oh, Garbo! No. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, my, my roll was so good, and then it, like, oh, tilted no. over. Oh, hello. Okay, do my I roll, roll red or blue? So good. Blue. <laughs> I sick? rolled. Good call, Koiba. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Here, do you want your juice? I don't Yes, please. <laughs> okay, uh, initiatives of 20 or higher. 29. 29, holy Jesus fuck. Jesus Christ. Plus 7 and a gift of alacrity, baby. Nice. Time wizard. Uh, 15 to 20? 21. Ow! Oh, you also had 20 plus. Nice. 21? 21. Alright, Ludwig. 15 to 20? 17. 17. For uh, Tazris, who is now a large. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, no one else 15 to 20? 10 to 15. 5 to 10. Oh, no. 6. 6. <laughs> what the fuck? Laura rolls. What did you guys roll? 3. 4. Nice. <laughs> I got not 1. Plus three. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's I rolled a back, 2. Boys. <laughs> it was a 13, and then it went boop. <laughs> You're just uh, cursed when it comes to dice rolls. I'm not. I'm okay. Inherently, I'm inherently blessed sometimes. <laughs> Alrighty. You, the one thing that you that, that, that strikes you as um, interesting or like strikes you, um, how do I say this? You see that Palanost has a prosthetic uh, right arm, 
which is uh, something not very commonly seen. And quickly just. Um, there we go, here it is. Um, it, it, it's looking like this like metal with like some 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 tubes and wiring kind of kind of like going through it um something unlike you guys have seen before this is a very uncommon practice especially around these parts um would be my trophy <clears throat> okay Elias, you're up first. Uh, you have a map of the like the chapel room. Like it's all pretty fucking claustrophobic in there. It's not very big. You're all okay. gathered at the door, um, and the altar is in the middle of the room. So literally ten feet ahead of you, that has mm -hmm. both Palinost and Bulbera on it. And then there is a guard on the left hand side against the wall. Uh, uh, for you right, and for them left. So for you on the right hand side of the room. For us on the right. Yes. Like against uh, the wall. How far away is he? Like along that uh, north wall? Is he like in the middle? To the, in the middle. To yeah. the east side. The to the west like side. equal. In the equal to the the altar. Okay, so he's on the north side. Then uh, Pelanos is on top at of the, the altar. altar with. Okay, uh, I'm gonna. Move to the right. Okay. And walk up to the guard and cast Shadow Blade. Hell yeah. I'm going to again hold my arm out and let the shadows. No, I'm not going to hold my arm out because that's how I put it away. I'm going to reach to my side where there is no sheath and draw a sword that is congealed shadow. Ooh. And I'm going to walk forward. That was my bonus action. And I'm just gonna shank this guard. Okay. Make your attack. Uh, 15? 15 doesn't hit, unfortunately. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna fucking chrono shift, because why not? Okay. I'm just that guy. Uh, natural 20. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that'll yeah. hit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Poor guy. Chrono shift, baby. Aren't you glad uh, I didn't take Chronomancy? So that's... Uh, fucking, it's a deal. Right, okay, so it's... Four, 16 points of psychic damage. 16 points of psychic damage? Yeah. Damn. Alrighty. Uh, looking very rough as you just... Take out your your shadow blade and just jam it into his chest, uh, and then pull it oh. out. Uh, looking very rough, very bloodied, but not quite dead yet. I'm gonna draw my dagger as well and end my turn. Okay. Um, Ludwig. Okay, so can I can I be really cheesy as a rogue and like hold my attack until someone else is in melee with the main man? Uh, sure. Yeah. Like, can I hold my action until? Yeah, until some uh, of we'll your say, allies are in melee. Until with... Taz, like, yeah, until Tazrus is in melee with the with the main man, I will hold my attack, um, and I'll use my bonus action to use the help action. Um, being a mastermind rogue, <laughs> and I will just point point at the main man and be like, "His arrogance is his weakness. Get him while he can't defend himself." And then I'll sort of take shelter by the by the doorway and and ready my bow for when someone else closes in on him. Okay. Get him. Hides. Hell yeah. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> okay. Um, Taz. Oh, okay. I'm a lumber over the main man. Kind of stepping over shit. Okay. Um, and then I am going to hit him mm -hmm. with my war hammer. I shield my other hand. Um, and I'm going to invoke my fire rune as I do so. Okay. Oh, fucking rune knight. Uh, with help, I get to with attack with advantage, right? I think uh, so. Yes. That would yes. help us? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Oh. oh. Uh, does a 24 hit? Um, well, I guess, I guess. <laughs> I'll allow it. All right. Uh, I'm going to need a strength saving throw. That's a beat. 
Uh, natural 19. Fuck you. That's okay. Sorry, but... He still takes at least this first 2d6. Cunt. Um, then I roll... I think it's 1d8 for my Warhammer. Yes. Okay, so he takes six points of fire damage. Six points of fire damage. And Runa seven six. points of bludgeoning. And six points of bludgeoning? Yes. No, seven. Oh, Sorry. seven. Okay. All right. Uh, with that, you are now melee with him. So, Ludwig, you held your action for this exact moment. <laughs> uh, 15 to hit. Hits, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it hits this guy. It didn't hit the other guy. Ooh, 17 points of damage. 17 points of damage? All right. Yup. Very good, very Short good. Short bow arrow straight into the gizzard. Mm. All right. Is that your turn, uh, Taz? I'm going to assume that's a yes. So cool. Oh, uh, sorry. I was reading something. Um, Actually, I'm also going to deal an extra d6 damage that I can deal because I have my giant's might. Oh, okay. Uh, force yeah. damage. You know, new things mm -hmm. out here. It is 1d6. Yeah, okay. Uh, an extra three All right. points of damage. Very good. Um, it is I now Parson's turn. turn. I, 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 and he's going to use his bonus action to cast Spiritual Weapon. Oh! As a copy okay. of his, uh, like, bloodied crimson red mace. It starts floating around you, uh, Ludwig, and is going to Oh, you. He's, he's copying cleric. me. <laughs> he's a cleric of an evil god. This he's is copying me. He's evil. Uh, that is a 21 to hit. Just hits. Just hits? Okay, Just okay gotcha, hits. gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> uh, let's see. 1d8. Let's have a look. Um, you take seven points of, uh, I think it's radiant, is it radiant damage? No, force damage. Seven uh -huh. points of force damage. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, and for his action, he's going to cast Sacred Flame, because he can do that, because that's a cantrip. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. he's going to cast Sacred Flame at, wait, what's the range on that? 60 feet. He's going to cast Sacred Flame at, um... Uh, Elias, because he's harassing his Fuck boy. You. I'm not harassing his boy, I'm killing his boy. Uh, I need to make a deck saving throw. Not one. Natural one? Uh. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you take six <laughs> points of radiant damage. Lit. Talk shit, get hit. Um, <laughs> and that's his turn. Ravamorn? Me! That is you. Um, I'm gonna cast Witch Bolt at second level on... The uh, guard, not the guard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Damn. Is that a saving throw or is it an attack roll? It's an attack roll, and it's a ten. Doesn't hit, unfortunately. As your witch bolt just uh, slams into the stone wall. So man. <clears throat> is that Don't your turn? Man, uh, I'm gonna duck behind the doorway on the opposite side. Okay. To where the spirit of the shares. All right, team. Uh, it is now the guard's turn, and he is just going to take his sword and try and shove it up Elias' ass. <laughs> uh, ooh, natural two, though, so that's not gonna yeah. happen. Depends, how much uh, is it? Eight. Okay. My issue's <laughs> not high, I'm a wizard. Yeah, so that's a, that's a no. Um, yes, win. Wait, is that uh, the end of his turn? That's the end of his turn, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna burn my reaction. And uh, I'm going to use my stone rune Ooh. as the uh, rune on my shield flares up and a little bit of stone. I need him to make a wisdom saving throw. Dude, rune is so fucking cool, dude. I know, <laughs> dude. Natural Straight one. up. Awesome. He's charmed by me now. Oh. Okay. Uh, while I charm this way, the creature has a speed of zero and is incapacitated, descending into a dreamy stupor. You can repeat it at the end of each of its turns, ending the same effect on a success. Okay. Um, Elias, you notice that after uh, the guard tries to swing at you, he just suddenly goes like stationary and like lowers his sword and just kind of seems a little I'm, like like dreamy eyes. I'm a wizard. I understand that you sound right. Make a but, but, but what's your are you proficient in Arcana? I'm a proficient in Arcana. I have a plus six. Then yeah, Jesus. yeah. You you, you recognize the, the, the charm effects. Yes. Okay. Um. Nice win. 
I uh, can I see the fucking evil man? I mean, yeah, evil, he's in the middle man. of the fucking room on top of the altar. And then I will just shoot my shoot my bow at him. Do it. Ooh, that's gonna miss. Hmm. Yeah, it's ten. Okay, ten? Yeah, that misses. You, you shoot your bow, and he just in a reflex takes his prosthetic arm and just blocks the arrow with it, and it just it just kind of shatters. And then I will just kind of move back a little bit, I think. I'm just going to try and find, like, a corner of the room far away from everyone. It's just it's far like, away. Like the southeastern corner of the room. Yep, it's far, far away, away from everyone as okay. I can get. Thank you. Right. Ferris? Yes. Oh, me. Um, yes. Uh, I'm going to smash someone with a mace. <laughs> I just don't know if I want it to be oh. the big bad or the other dude. Um, I want to go take out the other dude. Okay. Not the parson. I'm assuming it's because you said it's a small room, so I don't have to no, worry no, about counting. You can, you can get there, there yeah. just fine. Yeah. No. Alright. Alright, sure. let's go. Hiya! Oh no. That's a natural one. Oh. Does you have advantage go to walk he's charmed? at the uh, guard? Do I? Uh, actually, uh, might... I don't think I don't think she does, no. Incapacitated might give it. I don't think incapacitation Looking gives you right advantage now. on a melee attack, does it? Give me three seconds. Okay, incapacitated can't take actions or reactions. So I don't think anyone has advantage on attacks. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well. Um, the natural one. Um, yeah, you just missed him. You drop your mace to the floor as you kind of trip. Oh, no. You're going to have to spend an action next turn and pick that up. Sorry. Oh, oh no. Um, natural one, man. I got to make it a bit of a dick, you know? That's no, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, seeing as I dropped the mace mm -hmm. and I, I I panic and I'm just like, oh god, damn it. Um, I will. I'm just gonna suck. Bonus action, cast spiritual weapon. Hey, nice. Um, two spiritual weapons just floating around the room now. <laughs> yeah, Where and I'm man. gonna. I want to make it literally look like a glowy, heavenly sent from Saren Ray clone of his. Just like okay. the not evil version. All right. Yeah. Fair and enough. it's gonna appear behind the bad, the the parson dude. Okay. Uh, Is it just me that gets a swing, right? Because, uh, I, I believe so. Yes. Yeah, it does. Yes, you do. Um, attack with it. But because I'm a bad cleric, it's probably not gonna hit. Cause I got kicked out of cleric. So I'm a I'm a big buff strong cleric. But oh, but then I rolled high. I rolled high. So that's a dirty twenty. That hits. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dog. Hey, come here. Get out of there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's under the bed. Can't go there. Okay, so damage. That's a D8. That's a seven points of radiant? Force damage. damage. Is that what it is? Force. Oh, I... Yeah. Of All right. I, I didn't mean to roll that. That's um... the weird one. I mean, shit. He's starting to look a little bloodied already. He's uh, he's been taking some 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 good hits. He's starting oh, to look a little a little rough around the edges. Um, back to the top of um. The round, Elias. This guy dies. <laughs> this guy dies. Don't care. These charm. I'm gonna stab him. Yeah. Uh, fucking nineteen hits. Seven points of. Uh, yeah, that'll damage. do it. You just you just cut down this just now incapacitated charm guard, and you see the life just like leave his eyes, and he just <laughs> falls I'm over. I'm gonna smile, and then I'm gonna walk over to the person. Okay. And I'm gonna shank him with my dagger. Go for it. Oh, that's fucking 20, but it's cocked. Uh, 15. 15 hits. Uh, that is fucking uh, 7 points of piercing damage. 7 points of piercing damage? Alright. Is that your turn? Yep. Ludwig? I mean... Is Big Man still in melee with yeah. Big Satyr? Yes, sir. Then I will shoot. Or oh, 16 to hit. 16 hits. Woo. We're out here committing a murder. 13 points of piercing damage from the short bow. 13 points? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Very good, very good. Yeah, you're just, you're just wailing on this guy. Mm. Like, he kind of... Man, another bonus. Kind of walks, Help he, action. You kind of walked in on him, like, you know, with his dick out, you know, like, not really prepared for a fight, just torturing this poor goblin. 
Oh, um, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just use, use my bonus action again to help action on, on Big Man. Okay. And it is now Big Man Tazarus' turn, so... Woo! All right. We hit with a big maul. Or not maul. A warhammer. Warhammer? Uh, warhammer. Yeah, 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 Natural 20. Be... Natural 20? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big yeah. fucking cock. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, right. if only I could chrono shift and cancel it. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> That's like a dick. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, he takes... Do, 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 do. Well, 17 points of damage. 17 points of damage? Yeah. Alrighty, did you roll oh, your d6 for your giant? Uh... I did, okay. I did, yeah. Making sure? Alright. Yep, yep. Um, he is looking very rough, but it is now his turn. Surrender. Uh, as a bonus action, his spiritual weapon gets to have another swing at uh, Ludwig. That's uh, a, uh, ooh. It's a 14 to hit? Oh, I think that might be my AC. Oh, no. It is, it oh. hits! <laughs> <It'll be fine. laughs> Uh, oh, for uh, nine points of force damage. Okay. And as an action... Dead. Looking pretty rough, boys. <laughs> he is going to cast Cure Wounds on himself. Oh, oh what a cringe. Cunt. Yo, how many counter spells do we have, guys? <laughs> yeah. So We're he not heals high himself level. for a little bat. No, That's the... You see some of the wounds, like, close. And, That's uh, the chill. But we used to have, like, ten of them, you know? Um, all right. Um, Rav. Rav Morn. It's your turn. Uh, I want to try and cast Witch Bolt at second level on the actual big bad guy now. That okay. He's the only one left. He's a holy please, man. Please, please, please. Holy, because we shoot him with many arrows. My God. <laughs> Not me, I mean. That's actually pretty funny, Ethan. Good job. <laughs> Don't encourage him. Yeah, oh, that's what I did. What'd you roll, uh, Bell? Uh, what? I rolled 10 again. No. Doesn't hit, I'm sorry. The best part <laughs> As an old witch bolt goes, this. Is, flashes into those, the ceiling this time. Need dice. So she's um, rolling on D&D Beyond. So we can just dead. all see that Nesmin. her cheats aren't kicking in. Oh, it's me. They just look nice, just suck ass. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I shoot, I shoot arrow again. Go for it. Better dice, come on. You've been fucked. I believe. It's not good. <laughs> I believed in you. You were the chosen one. Does a 12 hit? I think that just misses. You were oh, my brother, Anakin. It just misses. No. no. Oh. <laughs> uh, I just shoot myself in the fucking face. No. <laughs> <laughs> just turn the ball around. That work with a ball? That's, that's kind of a so, it's a long bow as well, so it's yeah, like a fucking work. Uh, you can't even do that the, right. The, and then um, you, uh, do it straight up. Favors. Uh, it's your turn. Mace on the floor. Which yeah, your weapon flying um, around. Yep. I will action pick up the mace. Okay. And bonus action, instead of attacking with my spiritual weapon, I'm going to cast Healing Word. Okay. Um, I can only do that for one person, I believe. I'll do it for Ludwig. What IT? Because you're because you, you're looking a bit a bit bloody, right? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh so yeah. You, oh bad. You re hey dog. I'm. It's, it's my turn right now, point. dog. Okay, dog? hold on. Yo, dog. So it's four hit points, but then what do I add for life? Don't know, no. Give me two seconds. Two plus the spells level. So you re you heal for seven hit points. Beautiful. Basically nullifying. Um, you kindly. And that's my turn, because okay. I the action was pick up the mace, and that was my bonus. Correct. Elias. I'm in this guy's face. I'm going to shank him with the Shadow Blade. Go for it. Mm. Fucking 13. 13? Yeah. Just hits. Thank fuck for that. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to kill steal from everyone today. <laughs> uh, eight points of... Psychic damage. Eight points of psychic. Is still, still up? up? Yes. Uh, bonus action. Stab him with the dagger. Two weapon fighting. Uh, natural 17. Hits. Uh, for six points of piercing. How would you like to finish him off? For fuck's sake. 
Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Two kills? Nice. I'm just an asshole. I'm gonna we kill our take wizard? the Shadow Blade. <clears throat> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drive the Shadow Blade right into his his shoulder, just above uh, the arm where he's got the prosthetic on. Okay. And then I'm gonna reach over with my other hey. hand and just grab the dagger oh. and just slit his throat. Stop. All right. And with that, he crumbles and falls on top of the altar and then rolls off of it. And um, you quickly you change music. That is the threats taken care of. You look around you and uh, you see Bobera shackled by each limb on the four corners of this. Uh, uh, or like above, not, not, no, no, never mind. I'm, I'm done. She's shackled by each limb, attached to uh, to the uh, altar. Uh, a rope gag muffles her screaming, and you can see that her arms and legs are, are covered in an array of, of fresh wounds and magically healed lacerations. Uh, rivulets of her dark goblin blood run down the side of the stone slab into a narrow channel cut into the floor around the altar, which you've now just noticed. Classic. I run over to the altar. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah? It's an altar. So? Yeah, so? Dutch, can moment. I make, um, can I tell if the blood, because the blood's in those, like, grooves or rivets, can I tell if there is a ritual in the middle of happening right now? With my, any mm. religious history that I would have or training? Make a religion check. While Lord's making a religion check, can I use the wand of detect magic? Mm hmm I rolled a 13. There's definitely some kind of ritual going on, but you don't know the steps to complete it or, yeah. or you know, what happens if you just take her off the altar. Yeah. You have no idea. I'll tell the uh, group you, you, that. You're using your wand of detect magic, uh, I Alliance? am. Yeah, this entire altar yeah. screams magic to you. <laughs> I'm gonna let everyone know that the entire altar is magic and we should be careful not to touch it. Before yeah. I, I start... lose... Oh, go ahead. I want to start pat patting down the... the homies. Mm-hmm. For anything, keys, money. Uh, make an investigation check. I also, then, as I'm looking at the altar, just want to be like, Bul "Bulbara, we're here. We're here to save you." Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. You, know. um, you find on uh, Pel uh, Pelanost. You find mm -hmm. that his prosthetic limb, uh, on the right hand of it, a solid ring of polished bloodstone, uh, like around the finger. Uh huh. He was wearing a a silver chain, which was a uh, holy symbol of Vesta Bloody Siren. Mm -hmm. And a set of keys. Pretty small keys, which you would guess are for the shackles. Okay. I will, um... I guess get to un unshackling with the keys. Oh, so I was just away. gonna cut the, uh... It says it's just like a rope gag that's like... Yeah, like is the rope gag like tied mouth. down? Yeah, it's like tied. I'm just gonna like... Mouth. Take out my scimitar and very carefully just like try and cut okay. both sides Immedi of the Immediately, immediately, as you do that, immediately, she yells, Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Just, um, make sure to not touch the blood in the, in the, in the, in the, in the floor and in the ground. Yeah. You can take me off, but we okay. have to avoid that. If we don't, no switch touching the blood. If we don't wait, okay, it's been one. Yes, if we don't, I might become something else. Right. Ooh. Why okay. don't we do it? So don't touch I mean, the blood. Before my can we touch you? Strength yes. You can. Goes away. I'm gonna lift her up. Just yeah, like grab her so hands. So Ludwig like unshackles, like, unshackles her. Yep. Yeah. And you just like her lift up. her up, and like yep. carry her off of the. Gently. The... Yep. Um, you put her down. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah. Yeah. She kind of stands. Um, you know, you can see now this 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 female goblin. Um, some golden rings in in each of her ear, arms and legs just completely cut open. But at the same time, you can also see spots where there were previously wounds and they've been magically healed. And she just kind of goes, "Um, I've been killed." Eight times in the past two and a half days. Oh my goodness, that's I, I that's a lot. Anything out there alive left that I can kill? 
It's more than Soko in one campaign. Many guards. Shut the fuck up. Good. Uh, and and I mean we we also there's one more prisoner out there that we told them we'd go. Well, I I implied I would like to, to go back for them. No. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Some kind of his undead cultist. I'm not sure if he's, you know. Well, then we can leave him there. He might already be dead. Um, but there's there was plenty of guards outside. If you want to just well, when it comes to easy kills, you know that won't big up too much fuss. There's two unconscious just outside this room here. Oh no, but they 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 helped us rescue. No, we shouldn't. Jumps at the fucking like tied up and just starts to put her hands on one of the throats and just. And you can see make the guard, her happy. You can see the guard, like, as he's being choked out, just like his eyes open, he's just, <gasps> and this goblin is just slowly choking him. If no one stops her, I'm gonna stop her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take watch. his. I'm gonna, gonna take the dude's prosthetic hand off. real mm -hmm. quick. Can I just take it off? Um, now you can. I can take his prosthetic hand off. Yes, you can. Well, it, it, well, no, With you the ring the still arm. on it. You can take the entire prosthetic arm off. You can't like take the hand oh, apart. Yeah, it's a whole arm? arm? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll take the arm. Time for me to cut off my hand on again. It that made it so that only he could remove it from himself, but that's, you know, he's dead, so that enchantment has to He's dead. Him. Okay, cool. I also Question. would be assisting in stopping Bobara from Okay, them so you they help she's save her. Like in the process of choking out this 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 guard that is tied up, has yeah, nothing no way to defend himself. And they Taz just us, kind of like in his giant, all... in his large satyr form, just like picks her up by the scruff of her neck and just <laughs> pulls her off. Let me at him! Let me at him! Not these two. Why? The ones outside, because these, these ones helped help. us. These ones helped us save you. The ones outside <sighs> didn't help. Well, okay. I, I didn't really help. They and just then, didn't... as my, I think my giant's might would probably be just about to fade now. I'll lift up the iron crossbar and then shove the doors open for her. So I'm still... release her like so a wild cat. Do we just, 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 just leave? Yeah. 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 yeah we gotta. We gotta get out of here. We gotta go. We might alert. We, we might um alert some people. Have you taken care of the captain of the camp? Who? No. That was him. No. Captain. Captain. We've taken care of two watchtowers. Let's see. And the blacksmith okay. too. Kind of, yeah. Right. Well. Um, Pelanos wasn't in charge well, of prisoners. this. Pelanos wasn't in charge of this fort. He mainly, um, you know, made use of it. Um, mm. Captain is a, a big fella, but if we can avoid him, that'd be great because he's pretty strong. I mean, our plan How is about to kind of sprint for it. And if anyone tries to stop us, I will talk them out of it. You gonna talk them out of it? Be fine. Trust me. Also, I've got an idea. I've got a forgery too. kit. I can throw together a little bit of a, a paper here that gives us uh, authority to transport the prisoner or something like that. That um, sounds like a lot of time. How long sure, I mean... <sighs> DM? Huh? How long would it take me to forge a, a somewhat convincing document that we're here to transport the uh, prisoner? If you, if you have all the supplies, a few minutes. A few minutes? You have the supplies? You know, depending on the role. Yeah, of course. Of course. Okay. Well, um, I have a kit. I, I, you know, I have the forgery kit. I don't know if that has the paper included, actually. I pull just... out uh, from my bag. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'll need paper. I pull out a sheet of parchment, an Beautiful. ink pen, uh, a bottle of ink, a small bag of sand for drying off the ink so you don't have to wait for it to dry. Uh, Is that how they uh, used to do that? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's you know, why uh, some... Starting equipment comes with a little bag of sand. You put sand on it and then blow it off, and it dries it. Wow! Because the I've sand got... absorbs. The oh no, I do have. I, I've got. I've got papers, parchments, pen, ink, seals, cool. sealing he wax, is. gold and silver leaf, and other supplies necessary for creating convincing forgeries. So, okay. I will go. pull out a letter from the Cerberus Assembly, mm -hmm. and I will say to Ludwig, forge something in this sort of setting. Essentially right, saying copy that the handwriting. The Cerberus Assembly are taking control. Or All taking, right. Uh, uh, what's the term? We're, we're taking the prisoner, taking property of, taking, taking um, possession. Or not owner, possession. possession, ownership. Taking possession. Custody. Oh, custody. That custody. custody that's that's the, word. the word. I'm not. Right. We don't usually take prisoners, but hey. You say. 
What kind of assembly did you say? Look, it's a fake letter. Don't worry, it's just a reference one. Make a deception check. Fuck. Well, I'll be fine. Uh, deception? Mm hmm. Because you're lying like I'm through your fucking teeth right now. Not at all. Uh, 19. 19? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, while I am still under the effects of Detect Magic, is anything that Ludwig pulled off the body magical? Ooh. Um, no. Okay, cool. Thanks, DM. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, now he's not going to want to look at it and I keep it for myself. Melt True. down the silver necklace, sell it on. Yeah, fair, 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 fair. No, I'll just lean in and let him know, like, by the way, nothing you picked up is magical. Ah, no. <laughs> right, I'm going to get to work forging this document then. Um... um... I did kick open Make the doors. A... Okay, hold on. You are uh, proficient in... Are you proficient in... Yes. The, with the in, kit? In the forgery kit, yeah. Yep. Okay. Got to decide what stat it is, I guess. Can we make it wisdom? Yeah. Oh, charisma. That, that weirdly makes sense in the sense of like, you know, you kind of have to... Yeah, fuck it. You yeah. have the necessary D experience with... D20 wisdom modifier, proficiency modifier. Come on. Can I get guidance? I don't know. Can you? Uh, <laughs> okay, I see. I see. Furious nodding. Yes, yeah. yes, you can. Yeah, sorry. Is Muted the guy dog chews on a squeaky toy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what Seven Ray sounds like? To yeah. <laughs> 16. 16? Yeah. Uh, you take a few minutes. Uh, in, the, in that time, Bulbera kind of calms herself down and... Just, you can see, oh, while like, the, he was the forging it, can I? Siding from a rise, and you managed to, was... to, in your opinion, make a pretty, pretty convincing forgery. Hmm. And I, while well, I would have been to help Bulbar calm down, just explaining like that Morgan led us here, and that we were like contracted to do this from the Lord. And no, does he usually get lost? No, I just like to harass him a little bit. Um, oh, well, no, he's is he still okay. around? Is he, he... safe? Yeah, he, he, he made a diversion for us to get in here, and he said to oh. meet him seven miles east at, at a tree that okay. we camped in last okay. time. Okay. Right. And I hold up a scrap of parchment with wax seals <laughs> of the Cerberus Assembly decorated with gold leaf and mm -hmm. signed and in bold Double space times new Roman size eleven. <laughs> Double space times a new Roman. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, no, use Comic Sans. Looks it looks uh, convincing enough. And but, I will uh, hand it to uh, Elias. Sure. Uh, Let's go. There wasn't any. The chains that were in the room were all like attached to the floor, right? Yes. Okay. I. Um, How do we make it look like she's a prisoner? Just tie me up. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Sure. It's not like I, I spent the past will... few days in you know, in, in chains. What's what's another few hours? I was hours, just huh? gonna make it appear that you were magically charmed in some way, but Roblox. Hmm. I will uh, tie her hands, I guess. Okay. And keep hold of the rope. I should probably, well, maybe me and Rav make ourselves scarce once we get out the door. The door yeah. Don't really fit in with the rest of you. I, I, I mean, neither do, do I. I was going to say, no, none well, of us really like, fit in anywhere. One of us is a frog and the other one is a known criminal. So it just, you know, I mean, might be I'm a bit strange to see us in the employ of the Cerberus Assembly. Well, you know, it's weird. I'm just going to say that I hired you to come with me, so. Yeah, we're, we're like. You Mercenaries know, come in all shapes and sizes. You know? has experts. Man. Okay, well then maybe you can disappear. And you're, I'm gonna get my disguise kit. You're wanted by this group as well. And I'm gonna <laughs> disguise myself somehow. I don't fucking know. Yeah, just make yourself look uh, different. Uh, different in child. What do you want? To I'm just gonna with? bounce along like I don't have any sentience and I'm just a frog. I'm just you're gonna pet. like. You're a party pet for now. Yeah. That's, that's I will. I, look like. I will tend. I will tend to make myself look like a ranger, and that's my pet. I like okay, take so my it's... eye patch off. Yeah. And like, put the other one. Draw on an eye over like makeup. the closed <laughs> eye. Yes. 
Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Why okay. does he only ever blink? Why is he winking at me all the time? <laughs> and uh, I'll, tr like, roughly ch kind of change the color and style my hair and, and beard and everything and, like... Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, just the best I can do, I suppose. Just yeah, emo fringe enough. over the eye. Oh, that's not a bad idea. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just kind of style my hair over to one side and kind of over one side of my face. Dwarven oh, women have beards too, so... Yeah. Yeah, they do. It's hot. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry, I let that slide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. <laughs> Moving on. All right. All right. So you spend some time making yourself look different. Uh, Elias, you have the letter. Uh, Neswin, looking like a ranger and his uh, his loyal pet frog, Ravamorn. What do you do? Just dressed. A dressed frog. We walk out, not running, but walking with purpose. Okay. As you walk out, you can see that the uh, oh, entire no. canvas of that big tent that you put on, set on fire has since uh, completely just... Uh, the canvas is gone. <laughs> the fire is gone, but so is the canvas. Um, you notice that the thunder and lightning has stopped. I As you walk outside, whisper. you are oh, met by a group of six um, soldiers led by uh, a older, taller looking, no, uh, wearing special thing. armor. And uh, he kind of halts. Well, when he looks at me. And where the hell have you been? We've been looking for you for the past five minutes. At this point, I just gave up, took custody of this prisoner. Too many of us to teleport. The hell is going on here? There's no guard in that watchtower. I, I want to look. Fire. I want to look intimidating behind him, just like the hired muscle, and just look like like I did to the bullywugs earlier. Just look scary. Should make uh, make a deception teeth. check, uh, Elias. I, I, I cross my arms and tap my foot like. To get an advantage from me this trying to look scary. Disgrace. I pretend to pat my foot. Yep. Wearing gloves. I will pull out. I said pretend to pat. I'm, oh. I'm not gonna. I while know. I'm, I saying, know. All this, <laughs> while I'm, I'm like... saying all this, I will pull out the fucking uh, uh, paperwork. Paperwork help tool. Do I get advantage because I have necessary paperwork? Yes. Yes. Lady. Uh... You got this. Oh wait, can I try and dealt like sneakily cast guidance? <laughs> it's too late now, is it? Kind of. It's, it's kind of already really really happening. Stealthy thing. Plus that, it's fine. I guess, yeah. It's absolutely fine. Because mm. my first roll was a six. Mm -hmm. mm. My second roll was a natural 19. Okay. okay. Uh, so right. 22. It takes the letter, starts reading it. Looks at you all. Why would the assembly have interest in that mongrel? I think it's bold of you to assume that it's your place to know. Sassy. Fair enough. Take it. And he just kind of looks at his soldiers and just nods at them to, to fuck off. And he also kind of just goes back to his large tent on the southern side of the fort. All out. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just walk past the front gate guards that have never seen us before, you know, it's... I mean, it's, I said we teleported. That, does the prisoner, like, look at us? Oh, yeah. the, what, the, pri the cultist prisoner? Uh, what became of cages him? And all you see is a dead body lying in... Yup. I mean, he was, he was dead before we did anything. Okay? An extra dead body. Mm, he was undead. Body. So... But okay. With that, you leave um, the fort behind and travel back east, back into the march. The march? In marsh. You're marching into the marsh. Mm. We're marching into the marsh. Um, we're outside the of the fort. We seven miles it. east. Yes, yes, who's out of sight? It's just like boom, boom, boom. Just fucking and around seven hours the around sunset, you make it to uh, that tree that you slept in. Um, with the help of, of Faerys using the map that uh, that that uh, Morgid like drew a circle around where you have to where you had to go, and you can see leaning against a tree, Morgid, who claps ecstatically and, and comes running. You did it! You freed her! You're alive! Yeah, 
Yes! Hooray! Excellent work. I think a couple of the guards got eaten by alligators, but, you know, it's, it's what it is. Well, those alligators got a nice meal? That's great to hear. Yeah. What is wrong with you? I'm just happy that everything's going right for us. And, you know, then that fire that. Okay, yeah. Well, Means we um, won't be hungry now. Exactly. We should probably we're fine from them. get some rest for the they night, big? and I'm sure you can, can use some sleep as well, as he nods at Bulbera, and she kind of... Yeah. We... Are we gonna stay here? Or... No, we can camp here just fine. We are. Uh, we're deep enough into we're the marsh. seven hours away. Yeah, seven hours away. Seven miles, which equals seven hours. It's difficult terrain. I don't know how necessarily happy they're gonna be when they find out that we faked being Cerberus Assembly to collect a prisoner. You did what? We faked being Cerberus Assembly to get her out without starting a massive fucking firefight. Wow. I mean, we, we killed some people, but like, we didn't kill all good, of them. Good, good. Okay, um, let's just have some rest. Travel back, it's about, hmm. My calculations are correct, you know, keeping in account the movement of, of the village. Still about a day and a half worth of travel away, so, uh, I have to... Did you guys want to, you know, stop by that tower? In the tower? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Really? And Paul Bear kind of looks um... at you all. Fine. And, uh... Um... okay with it. For the purposes of this, for the sake of brevity, we'll say that you all scale the tree just fine. Um, I also... <laughs> I don't scale the tree. Okay, um, yeah. those, are, those that do. I want to do just, uh, offer Bulbara at some point a quick, just like, once over, if she would like over any of her wounds, make sure anything's from the torture or healing okay, and also I can check if she has any, like, conditions or, in fact, or anything affecting her beyond just trauma, you know? <laughs> Do you need um, conditions? Trauma. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of, of lets she kind of like begrudgingly lets you take care like tend to her wounds. Mm -hmm. Um besides just physically uh being hurt and the fact that she said that she has died several times over the past days and but is kept being brought back. You can you can tell that mentally it took quite a toll on her, but Given the circumstances, she seems fine otherwise. Okay. So no no restoration magic needed. Correct. Okie dokie. Just fucking hustle back up into the tree and yeah. take a long rest, I suppose. Yep. I'll take first watch. Okay. I don't mind taking that second watch again. I might see some more dragonflies. Maybe. I'll take uh, the last I, watch. I say, if no one wants to, I can, but I'm not the most observant person. I'll do it. I'm very perceptive. Frogs have very good senses. <laughs> Is that true? I'd trust a frog in the swamp. Are you, are you, you asking me if what I said was true? I don't yeah. know at this point. That definitely makes you sound you more trustworthy. <laughs> Are you really asking me <laughs> if what I said was true? <laughs> How dare <laughs> you? Outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> I always tell the truth. I think that guy really was my father. Hmm. I don't think he was. No, he was. He wasn't always a frog, but <laughs> her father was. <laughs> You don't know that. You don't know his life. <laughs> you don't know his how uh, anyway, he's dealt with. Um, first watch he was went into frog bankruptcy. Elias. Yeah. Make a perception check, please, Elias. Run in debtor's prison. Uh, perception. Yes. Uh, Seventeen. As you uh, sit there, taking your first watch, you also notice just this group of, like, this large group of dragonflies just... <sighs> kind of going by, not seeming to notice you. Okay, cool. Uh, other than that, nothing really in uh, interests you or nothing interesting happens, and uh, you wake up uh, Neswin. Yeah. Okay. Hey, have a good sleep. Sleep well. I'm already asleep. Okay. 
Perception check, please. 16. Oh, yeah, 16. Um, nothing. Nothing happens. Nothing. Um, I go to wake up my frog friend. Frog but friend? Forget, but almost, almost go to touch her. It's like, wait, crap, I'm going, wait, no. <laughs> There's Don't something wrong with that. Yeah, so I just go. Wake up! Oh. Garbus, put a little makeup. Garbus, put a little makeup. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, alright. I'd rather mourn. I just got to bear with it. <laughs> 14. 14? Ooh. Yeah. Hold on a second. No! <laughs> um. What is your passive perception? 16. No, 14. 14? Yeah. A sound you've heard before in this marsh. Is the same sound you heard uh, right before uh, Morgan told you about some like undead ghoulish creatures that tend to roam these parts. You can hear them kind of like behind you and like past uh, some 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 foliage and some other trees and bushes you can hear them um what do you do first of all i stay completely still okay <laughs> as the sound slowly travels um in the direction that you're going eastward but slowly like leaves your uh, your 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 your, your, your range of hearing. And uh, with that, as you uh, are about done with your watch, uh, Bulbera um, wakes up and hops off the tree. It's about enough sleep for me. Um, I'll stick around, have a look, while you catch a couple more hours. Thanks. It's okay. Um, and she does do some stuff, but uh, let's see how stealthy she is about it. Oh no. Not very. <laughs> so that's good. You still see how stealthy she is. Um, oh. Bell, I'm so mad at you. What? I said, Bell, I'm so mad at you. Um, She goes to. This is two, two nights in a row. That someone has finished their watch and the goblins that we don't know have just been like, I'll take watch. And they're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, <you went. laughs> I trust them. Um, she goes to sit down and, I mean, it's not stealthy at all. You just, you just hear, like, um, it's, a, it's a massive fight. Which one of you has the highest pass perception? I think me and Belle. Uh, yeah. 14. I'm, at I'm at 13. I'm at 13 as well. 14. 14, okay. yeah. So uh, Ludwig and, and Ravenborn, you just hear like, boosh, boosh, and you wake up and you see Bulbera seemingly sitting on her knees in front of some makeshift altar, uh, just seeming to just kind of be in some kind of prayer-like uh, position. Is she saying anything? Mm, yes, but do you speak Abyssal? No. Fuck, I was really hoping it would be in Goblin. Uh, no, I don't speak Abyssal. Uh, Does the altar look weird and sketchy? I mean, it looks like a pile of rocks and some kind of gem. Okay. But, uh, but uh, you know, it looks hand put together. Okay. Yeah, mm. she just, she's just sitting there talking in a language that you don't understand. I'm gonna go. How stealthily can I move around this tree? Roll a stealth check. I want. <laughs> oh, it's good. Twenty-two. Pretty stealthily. I want to creep over to where Elias is sleeping. Mm -hmm. And I want to rummage around for the wand of magic detection. Mm -hmm. Or detect magic. Yeah. And I want to try and use it. Okay. To see if the the thing on the altar is magical. 
Uh, that wand requires attunements, right, Ice? Uh, I have to check you, but I'm pretty sure. Uh. Ooh, specify. What? It does. It should specify. say on the item, it would say like. Yeah, it, uh, it says requires attunement. attunement, it requires attunement. If it doesn't, it then does it doesn't. It does not require attunement. Okay. There you go. Uh, if it doesn't specify, that means it doesn't require attunements, because okay. how that works. <laughs> um, Look, okay. Yeah. I'm tired. Um, so, yeah, um, there is this uh, magical um, energy seeping from the gem that she uh, used in the making of the altar. Okay, I'm going to go into my pack, and I'm going to take out an arrow and. Uh, hmm. I'm going to try and break the head off the arrow mm -hmm. so as to sort of render it less lethal. Okay. And then... Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm desperately looking for things that I could stick on the end of this thing. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna on this onto the shaft. I'm gonna take a candle, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna like a candle onto the end of it so that it's okay. like got a right. And I'm going to try and shoot the altar mm -hmm. to kind of disrupt it. You know okay. what I mean? All right. Uh, roll okay. attack. Oh, 17. You hit, and the altar kind of like crumbles, and you just hear this like disappointed. <sighs> Could have just asked, you know? Well, hey, there'll be none of that, all right? So you're, you know, back at home or whatever. Your friend's religious. But I can't be? Right. Well, I trust my friends. Fair enough. Besides, someone needs to keep watch, and I don't think you're keeping watch. I was listening. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a couple hours watch, begrudgingly, <laughs> like sitting in the tree, like with my with my legs over the edge of the branch, just like kicking, just kind of. You can see her like like t picking up the gem and and pocketing it that that she used, and other than that, she just gives you a death stare once in a while, but she stays awake. Mm. Okay. And eventually... Uh, I guess, um, I'll, yeah, I'll take yeah, a watch. that's fine. Uh, the sun okay. rises. You all, again, have a chance to, you know, help yourselves with some, some brekkie. Uh, Morgit kind of goes over to Bobera and, and shares some of uh, his rations with her. And, um... You shall carry on? Yeah, shall. Yeah. Uh, you make your way... Um, oh, close map an accident. Back to the tower. Um... Which Morgan kind of says, All right, well, we're here. If you want to go inside and explore, it's now's, now's the chance. Anyone? Oh. I mean, what did we see? Le what did you guys see last time? I, well, I've not, I've not seen this well, Last time we just kind of went in the waterlogged floor. Well, I say we yeah. had Whoa, crafted. And hey, because. Nah. Waterlogged? Nice. You, you want to come check with me this time? Is the yeah, box I mean, still here yeah. on the floor? See, the upper floors have giant spiders, so we didn't go there. Oh, how giant a spider? Like, like bigger than us. Yeah, if I had giant. to judge by the sort of thickness of the web, big. Oh. Big. I'm somewhere aquatic. Because me? Bigger. Bigger? Like bigger than any of us. Well, except, you know, when we were at well, the floor and you like, went. Yeah. Maybe not that big. I'll go into town and check the water logged floor. Okay. Um, I mean, what there was to find there was already found by your allies yeah. previously, so that floor is. I mean, how deep enough. is the water though? Uh, like the whole floor, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. You, you are. At or the it was sunken up to halfway. It was like halfway, so like a hip height for not not halfway, but like yeah. hip height for you. 
um, in which you found a chest Pipe previously uh, with the, those those pipes in it. Uh, those pipes? Are there more floors underwater? Under no. The only no, other I, floors I are, are up top, and that's like past the staircase with the, the, the thick spider webbing all around it. Well, like I covering guess it rather. The only way is up from here. I I will. I mean, have we tried uh, maybe setting some of it on, on on fire, maybe? What, like the webs and stuff? The webs, yeah. Yeah, have no, flammable clear is... a little bit. I'm gonna but take that's not how flammable is spider web. I'm going to yeah, shoot fireball at of... the webbing. Well, I wouldn't say shoot fireball, I mean, just, uh, it's I mean, going to... Ravimorn just gets a base and shoots a, a fireball. So you can oh, see the webbing's kind of... That's a... <laughs> yeah, very uh... flammable. Well, that... Worked just I didn't want to you know, disturb it too much because this is its home and I didn't want to like make a big explosion I mean, we're, torture yeah, a little bit to clear away gonna kill this thing. I was gonna say so... if, if we're not going necessarily in, then... it could be a friend It's not a friend nah. We're okay, absolutely well, that's good going then. to kill it. Yeah, well, let's kill it. it then. Okay. <laughs> I like Nesu just fucking continues walking forward. He's like, okay yeah, we're, we're going. <laughs> I'm gonna take out an, a flask of oil. Okay, and I'm gonna take out my scimitar um, when it says flask, it's not going to be like smashable, is it? So it it's is. not going to be like, like a mullet. It's like a glass. It's like a, it's um, like a glass thing. I'm thi well, like, see, I'm picturing like a leather, like. No, no, no. It's not, no, no. It's, a, no. it's like not a, like a drinking flask. It's like a, uh, you know, like a. It's a glass flask. Like ceramic? No, like it would be like ceramic. No, 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 like a test tube. It's like a test tube. Well, okay. it's, it's bigger than that, but yeah. But I'm gonna take say it's a, like a strip of cloth or mm -hmm. parchment or something. And I'll put it in the end. And do I have it? I don't know if I have a tinderbox, but someone I definitely do. does. I, I, I do. If you want one. Oh no, I do. I do. I do. Okay. I'm, I, oh, I also would have one. I'm just gonna strike a light on the bit muscle. of cloth in the oh flask, gosh. and I'm gonna yeet it through the oh. second floor window. Okay. Um, you just hear. Ew. Oh, it's not happy. I'm gonna run up the stairs inside. You run up the oh, stairs no. and you are greeted by three giant spiders, just sitting sitting in the room, feasting on I'm, like cadavers of birds are, and vermin, are we talking... other small creatures that 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 roam the swamp. Are we talking like Aragog, Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets, giant, or like? I mean, the giant spiders. They're they're considered large. Yeah, okay. we're rushing in. Uh, I at the doorway. It's like I throw a it's Molotov like someone, in the place. I don't uh, know how like eager we are to run in. in in front of me. Well, I'm, just OC, gonna set, I'm just going to step up and my, flush them out. My pulls away and get my like. I'll change my phone <laughs> now. Once I see like people running past, I'm like, okay, never mind. We're doing. They seem to be on fire from the Molotov. Um, they are not. Uh, but some of the webbing in the corner and some of the like, like drapes are. Okay. Well, I'm going to cast <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Gift of Alacrity on... Fuck it, I'll cast it on Taz. Hell yeah. I'm a you can go in egg. first, I won't. Fuck you. <laughs> you can deal with the I'll spiders. I'll my giant's might. And then um, run in. Alright, well after that, I would, like to, I would like some initiative, please. Hell yeah. Okay. You have a right. D8 on your initiative. D8 on my initiative, Jesus. Yeah. Ooh! Let's go, dude. Where did my D20 go? go? Yo, it's my first under 10 roll for initiative. Yo! Oh, D8. you poor thing. Mm -hmm. It's still a 16. Oh my god. But... Yeah. Well, I'm going first. No, there's no way to. Yeah, not 20. Oh, fuck you. It was so the two of the spiders. No! <gasps> Oh, oh, so I uh, gave him my like, gift of a lacquer. Oh, no. Um, I had a 25. I have a 23. Same. Yeah, but not 20s. Mm -hmm. 23 as well for the, both of the spiders, but... Uh, Holy shit. Be nice. Let Cody go I'll first. Go let you, I'll let you go first. Yeah. I'm going to cry in the corner. Nice. How Just far is that? Um, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Can relax, oh, yeah, we don't. Relax. Relax. What a waste yeah. of a first level spell. Uh, any oh. initiatives uh, oh. 20 plus besides the natural 20? 25. 22. Oh wow, I'm not first anymore and I don't like it. 15 to 20? 16. Oh, 
10 to 10, 15? I got 10. Uh -oh. I got 10. 10. Oh boy. Guess in a three. Did you roll bell? Four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. hate digital guys. Neswin, these three giant spiders three just, uh, yeah. on the on the floor of uh, of this like partially tilted tower. What do you do? I, I see them. How far away are they in the tower? I mean, you're like, if, uh, into the room. Uh, like ten feet. Oh, I want to right be there. as far away as I can while still being able to see them. Okay. And I'll fire my bull. Right. I'm bull. I'm bull. I'm bull. Uh, that is a 15 to hit. That hits. Uh, hmm. Do I want to do this? Do I want to do... What are the options? The other one. Not great. <laughs> What's the likelihood that these are going to be immune to poison damage? <laughs> Probably pretty high. I don't know. Fuck around and find I'm, out. I'm, I'm talking to myself. I will. Kill him. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just. Fuck it. I'll do a grasping arrow. Okay. When it hits, Ooh. so it's an extra two d six poison. Okay. Are they immune to poison? Nope. <laughs> cool. Fuck. It's 18 points of damage. Holy fucking shit, alright. And uh its good. speed its speed is reduced by 10 feet. Okay. And when it ne and when it moves, it takes 2d6 damage for the first oh, time in its turn. Yeah. Uh right. unless of course it spends an action to remove the vines that are on it. Um give me a quick sec. So it's like um, basically I fire this what you see is I fire this arrow and then the arrow hits and there's like a flash of magic and then suddenly it's just wrapped in vines. As you Ooh, shoot like the just spider with it. the arrow, its response just this like and kinda of starts to shake. You can hear like a crack as the flooring underneath it gives way and he falls down to the bottom floor, taking a few points of damage from the fall, and now there's just this one giant spider looking bloody as fuck, but like downstairs in the bottom floor. Hell yeah. Now, would you technically say that it moved? Is it, it moved underwater? Falling. It got forcefully moved. It is not completely okay. submerged, no. Okay. It just. The warning is just the first time on each turn it moves. I mean, a this, foot spi or more. this spider, like, you weren't completely submerged, so these spiders are definitely not going to be completely submerged. Yeah, because they're more lateral beings. Yeah, but that, even, even, yeah. In, even in height, they, they are... Okay. They're, they're big. I just have a question on wording, Dutch. Yes? Because it just says the first time on each turn it moves a foot or more, it takes damage. No, because... It, to be on its turn. No, it's okay. it was Well, if it's wrapped in vines, if it's, if it's wrapped in vines that are rooted to the floor and the floor just collapsed, then I guess... It's not rooted to the floor. Like, it came from the arrow and the arrow is just like... Yeah, so yeah, it was like, forced I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, but I'm it's like no. the, the environment around it has moved, right? Okay. So it's not like the vines are magically yeah, exactly. held in like, the air, you know? Like, so I guess... It still wraps when it moves. But it just yeah, but I'm gonna say no on that. Because it's an Cringe, thing. but fair enough. <laughs> um, Understandable, but fun. This spider, uh, is that that's your turn, right, Nesman? Yeah, it's my turn. This spider now has a turn, funnily enough. Uh is there anyone downstairs? Or are you yeah, I would just... start outside. No, I, I haven't gone upstairs, upstairs yet. yet. Yeah, I threw gonna... the flask in the window and I didn't move. I, I thought they were all insane. So the only ones upstairs on the second floor are Nezwin and, uh, Nezwin and Taz. Me. Oh, you as well, Rav? So yeah, Elias, yeah. Ludwig, and Favors are downstairs. Correct? Yes. And the Hobgoblin and the Goblin are waiting outside because they, they yes. want to know this. Okay, so I'm just going to roll a d6 to determine who the spider is going to attack. Um, Elias. Hello. This spider is not going to move. It's going to shoot webbing at you. Uh, he's going to um, come on me! Ranged weapon attack. Uh, 15 to hit. Uh, that hits, yeah. I need you to make a strength saving. Oh, uh, no. No, never mind. Uh, you are currently restrained by webbing. Hell yeah. 
So you're just like, you're restrained. There's webbing all around you and you're just, uh, you're just stuck. No, chrono shift. Roll again. <laughs> if I could turn back time. <laughs> Doesn't that test It would do nothing. Yeah, I've got ah, so yeah, same, same results, unfortunately. Uh, you, even I'm though you know what's, you knew it was coming, Harry, it still happened. I knew it was just, coming. Okay. <laughs> it's covered fucking web. web covered by webbing. Oh, stuck. It, stuck. You are restrained. Oh, really sticky. Um, I spider I number two is going I'm to uh, make his way towards you, Neswin, and is going to uh, bite at you. Yeah, there's people in the way. That's cringe. Shit. He doesn't give a shit. He saw you fuck up his boy. Uh, oh, that's only 12 to hit, though. Miss! Miss. All right, there you go. That's its turn. It's not right in front uh, of you. I'm going to need a, a wisdom saving throw, please, as I invoke my stone moon. Ooh, wisdom save is um, 11. That fails. It is now incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Okay, there you go. Um, it is now also your turn, Tazris. Yeah! All right. I'm gonna run over to the other one. There's a third one, right? There's a third one, yes. Okay, so that. I'm gonna run over to that third one. Oh, clomp, clomp, clomp. My big form. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh. Fuck it. I'm just gonna hit it and I'm gonna invoke my fire rune, because why not? Okay. So it is a. Let's roll 15 plus 6, so 21. Yes. Hit. All right, Peace. I will need a strength save. Strength save. Uh, ooh, 16 plus Fuck. two, 18. I just wanted to stay for more than one turn. Um, yeah, okay, it saves. It's fine. What I still get the initial 2d6. It takes seven points of fire damage, if that matters. It needs to be different. Okay. Plus an additional... 17 points of bludgeoning. Ooh, Ooh. fucking hell. All right. Yeah. And uh, you hit this, uh, this, this, this spider again. You can hear again the flooring crack, but this time it doesn't give way enough for the spider to fall. He's still there, but you're starting to get the sense that whenever something gets impacted but with a lot of force, uh, the, you get the sense that the flooring of this tower is not very stable and it, it can give way like, like that, like you just saw. Fun, yeah. Is that your turn? E yeah, I think that's everything I can Great. do. Great. Okay, you know what? I'm an action oh. surge. Okay. Fuck yeah, it. fuck it, dude. Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. I forgot fighters to have that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. All right. So I'm gonna try and hit it again. Trying to hit it again. Uh, that is a 22. Hit. Yes. All right. Uh, I mean, don't bother rolling because it only has uh, one hit point. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, I still did fucking. Fair. 17 points of damage, so I'll find There you go. And with that, <laughs> Spider goes squish, and there's just like this, this greenish goop just kind of like out of it and kind of like splatters on, on, on both you and Neswin. That's hot. I'm All into right. it. Um, Ludwig? I'm going to try and help my friend who is an webbed. Okay. I don't know if what that entails if I'm just gonna Make a get him. Strength check, please. Now, I can use the help action as a bonus action. Does this count as just using the help? No. Or is this more than that? This is, if you're, okay. Help action gives him an advantage when he tries to do it himself. But if you are saying, I'm going okay. to help him, as in, no, I'm going to try and No, I'm going out. to help. I'm going to use the help okay. bonus action. Okay. But I guess first, can I see the spider that webbed him? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to shoot it. Is it? That's the spider that is fell it, through the floor, so he's on your floor. Yeah, is it? Is it restrained? Is it? No. What does it count it as? Uh, Quibon? Does it have Nothing, some it, it's, when it's, uh, No, 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 there's no sound effect. Literally, it's just, um, if it moves, it If it moves, damage. it takes damage, and its speed is reduced, okay. Yeah, yeah, speed's yeah. just reduced by 10 feet. Natural one on the... Ooh. on the shoot, so... <laughs> um... You're using a crossbow, right? No, shortbow. Shortbow, okay, in that case... I don't like what is, what's happening. Uh, Elias, what's Tracy? Oh <laughs> Elias? Hmm? What's your AC? Uh, 13. 13. 
Um, you miss the spider. <laughs> but somehow the arrow manages to lodge itself into Elias' side. Roll damage, please. Oh. <laughs> Worth sneak nice. attack. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is actually a surprise. So oh, <laughs> only only four points. So yeah, allow you to take four, four points of piercing damage as this arrow just kind of ended up in your side. And then I will use my bonus action help to give him advantage on uh, okay. freeing himself. Shoots me right. and then tries to help me out. <laughs> <laughs> um, if that is your turn, then Elias, it is your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, is it? Is, it has to be a strength check. Correct. As an action, make a strength check, but you have advantage because of the help action. I advantage I'm gonna help, but hey, man. Uh, that's it objectively a does. So. fourteen, so twelve. Twelve? Oh minus yeah. two. Twelve is the DC. I've got six strength! Twelve was the DC, He's so you burst you burst like out of the webbing. You know what's funny? I would have six strength as well if I wasn't a dwarf with plus two. <laughs> <laughs> is that my uh, is that my action? That was your action, yeah. Oh, I'm in a shitty situation because I don't want to get in melee with spiders, but my only bonus action is Shadow Blade. It's um, looking pretty bloodied, though. It is. But I can't even attack with Shadow Blade. It'd just be a bonus action to cast it. Yeah. Uh, just run, smile. Yeah, I would uh, get out of its line of sight, then it can't move. Welcome yeah, to being no, a fuck wizard. It. Fuck it. Uh, how far away is it from me? Uh, like 10 feet. I'll back up 10 feet. Okay. That's my turn. Alright, team. Uh, fair is. That's you, Laura? Yep. Um, okay. <laughs> I. Because I'm. Would I have heard, or. Because I haven't gone upstairs, right? Mm -hmm. The. The. The cracking of the floor. Is, like, I mean, is there anything I can. You've seen one spider fall through the floor and now being on your floor. Oh, then, yeah. Okay. Um,. I don't... Because it fell through the floor, I can't see up. Like, can I see through the hole in the ceiling and see any of my party members or anything? Um, yeah. Like, a little bit. You can see uh, Tazarus kind of moving around. Raph just waves through the hole. <laughs> I feel like I'm just too big and heavy to go up there. I don't want to. The floor. And don't. It's literally the one up large there's... right now. Oh, no. Never mind. There's one on the ground floor, though, that's fucked up. Oh, but it's not dead. It no, didn't die. Dead. No, it's not dead. No, it's not no dead. that's yeah. the one that shot. Just go take yeah. the mace and just smash it. Like, okay, smash the spider. It. Roll your attack. Squish it. Uh, ooh, 15? It's... Hey. Bug go die. Uh, <laughs> my mace is a D6. Yeah, that's an eight, eight points of bludgeoning damage. You squish the spider as, a, as you just... <laughs> This, again, this like green goop kind of just come, like comes like bursting out of it, kind of splattering on you a little bit. But yeah, spider, spider got it's fucking. Like, do that spider thing squatted. where they all like. Yep. Curl up. I'll just. Yeah, like this. Just use my bonus oh, no. action to shout. Don't worry, I got this one. And the one that <laughs> fell. And that's okay. my turn. And the one remaining spider yet. who is still upstairs now has a turn and is going to. He has to roll to not be charmed. Oh really? Is that so? Natural uh -huh. fourteen. What, what kind of what kind of check? What kind of? Thing? It saves, but it repeats at the end of its turn, so okay. it turns over. Wait. Why? Because that save only happens at the end of its turn, and if it's incapacitated, oh, that was a spider. Its turn. That was the other spider, no? The spider that. I killed the one, didn't I? Uh yeah, but then okay, I must miss him then. Okay, fair. Never mind. Okay. Uh, Ravamon. I'm a firebolt, the only one that's left then. Go for it. If I don't hit this time, I swear to god. Yeah, 21 to hit. That Fuck hits. you, spider. Hey! Hey. Seven fire damage. Seven points fire damage? Yeah. As the spider now suddenly is downstairs, yeah. it also just falls through the floor. No, but not dead. Uh, not dead. Merry Takes Christmas. some damage from the fall, though, but it's not dead. Just allow. I'll just, just. I'll do what I did last time. I'll just squish the one on the floor. You just keep sending them down to me, and I'll just yeah. pop them. I mean, it's funny. They, I mean, they have such high decks, but it says here, like every time something takes damage, 
on the upper floors and has to roll a dexterity saving throw or fall through the floor. And they've just failed every fucking check so far, except for that one guy, That's the one funny. spider. Nice. It's a dex save, and they have like they have a nice. plus five to those. So I don't know. <laughs> but you just hey, call them as they're eating. They're like that. Like that. Uh, one spider left, and he's now downstairs. Um, anything else you want to do with your turn, uh, Ravenborn? Nah, I'm good. Okay. As the first bit of damage, I think Back we've done this the entire time. Back to the top of the uh, round, Neswin. I don't even know what class you I are. <laughs> I see that last Sorcerer. one. Sorcerer, all right. Yeah, I see yeah. that last one that's fallen yeah. down. I just turn yeah, I around and just fucking shoot it. Just like through the hole in the floor. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, I'm still like on the stairs is what I saw. So I'm still like all. Come. Because oh. it's a Heidi it. boy. Yeah, I'm oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I'm regardless, just like, I, pus I pussy bitched it. Uh, That is a 22. Hits. Pussy pitched it. Mm. Yeah. Me. Or seven points of damage. Seven points of damage, all right. Can I see into the other room? Is there another staircase going up? There is, yes. I like to start to make my way very carefully across and to go start going up in the next bit of stairs. Well, you make it to the bottom of the stairs and you can see that the uh, top floor it's completely yeah. like collapsing on itself. Uh, there's no like you can see rubble spilling like out of the out of the room right, down yeah. the stairway. That, that you don't seem to see a way up there. Okay. <clears throat> no, just stick on spider floor. Okay. Um, Taz. Last I'm spider fell through the floor and is now downstairs. Can I like jump on it? You can certainly try. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I'll just like go to the hole and just like jump down on top of it. Uh, oh. make an athletics check. Okay. <laughs> How do we determine <laughs> the damage for that? 12? 12? Um, okay. He takes uh, some damage from the impact of just this, like, fuck off satyr just falling on top of him. Like, you are now mounting the giant spider. <laughs> just like you, you've mounted it. Oh, I'll tame it? Tame it. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm gonna try to grapple it. Grapple? Okay. My action. Make a make a make an athletic check. Just Wait, grab like one of its big legs. Like 23. 23. Like when they do that thing in wrestling where they like bend their legs. I mean back. yeah, you have it, yeah. you have it. It's it's, it's not gonna put it in like a fucking it's not going uh, anywhere. like a full Nelson kind of thing underneath like two of its legs and like wrap my arms around his neck. <laughs> Alright. And like kinda like pick it up and hold it in front of me like what do I do? <laughs> that is your, I mean, that is your turn. Oh, you've grappled it. Yeah. Uh, you've jumped yeah, on top yeah. of it. Uh, you literally jumped onto it and grappled it. <laughs> you I mean, by the time I spider, can hit it, I'll probably have advantage now seconds, because you've grappled it. You've seen <laughs> your ally just jump down the hole in the ceiling in, of which the spider previously fell, land on top of it, and just grapple it. And he now has yes. his giant spider just... I'm just like, ugh! Yeah, this is the D&D <laughs> &D I signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes of arguing of how to get into a fort and then someone jumping on top of a spider and putting it in a full <laughs> Nelson. D&D, <laughs> everybody. Yes, that's it. So what do you do, Ludwig? It's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, it's your um, turn. There you go. Can I, can I run over and tie the two legs together that he's grappled? Sure, man. I don't... What's I don't, the end goal here? Yeah. I don't know. We don't know. It still has like. <laughs> when do we ever know? Four other legs to, that are perfectly good, <laughs> but the ones that I'm not legs. grappling them. How, what kind of animal handling check can I make to befriend it? Yeah. <laughs> Just like pet it. Can I pet it? <laughs> make an animal handling check. Oh, that's just like, oh, my pet spider! Pet the, pet the giant spider. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's my animal handling? Oh, it's not bad. Neither. It's a natural two, so that's four. Like his pets it immediately fine. starts snapping at you as you put, try to get your hand close. Okay. That's my action. Down, Bessie. Down, Bessie. Ooh, what bonus girl. actions do I have other than Ooh, help? Grace. <laughs> uh, I... I will disengage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tie it up and then you the fuck just off. Run in the door. Ooh, ooh, and then run out again. All right, we're done. We're done. Oh, I'm, good, I'm good. I'm good. Like you're trying to get over your me. Save me. 
and gave you a fear of spice. You're like, I can do this. I yeah, can do this. Exposure and therapy. It, and, yeah. and it moves. You're like, <laughs> yeah. How hurt is it looking? Very. Okay. Don't hurt. I saw a snap at fucking um, like, <laughs> magic missile. Oh my god, it's such a fast kill. No, thank you. Like, pulls up the fucking glock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the fucking glock and just shoots it. Put the and the DM out of their misery. Help the DM Let's out of their misery. Right, eight points. Yep, Four it's damage. dead. Thank fuck. Fuck. Spider dead. You just grab spider her friend. And shoot it through the head. Taz, you, you, you suddenly feel sounds. the spider just go limp. And, uh... Spider friend. <laughs> and little tear drops out of his eye. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, and with that... Oh Combat God. subsides. Uh, oh, anyone want to do anything? I will revive my web room. What? Explore web room, please. We all talk at the same time, so. I yeah, know. Make an investigation check. Like the room. That's the web. Investigation. Oh, I oh, I win these boys. Six. I'm so mad I missed it. I tried to move my camera in time. I looked down and the dog was like asleep, but legs just up in the air, <laughs> like the weirdest pose. But like not like like this, but like just. Sticking straight out. I was like, what are you doing? But now he's moved again. Yeah. Someone didn't cast Petrify. What is your roll, uh, Quibba? <laughs> Six. Six? Yeah. I uh, just kind of get distracted by the webbing and you're like, man, it's thick. Yo. It's crazy. I want to find so treasure. Good. We were told there was treasure here. Roll an investigation check. We found the treasure here. Oh. <sighs> Cock and balls, dude. Cool. Uh, three. Can't find anything. Is there a higher room? <laughs> Is there like a third floor? Yeah, there was. There it's completely crumbled and, and collapsed, and there's no way in. I try to play. How high is it? There's no way in. Oh, okay. He doesn't <laughs> distract you, Ludwig, when you're trying to like look. He's like, but look at this really cool bit of web. Look over here. Look at that cool. Yeah, yeah. we about any really cool bits of treasure. Mm. Maybe. 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 Yeah, look over here. So is it, the staircase is just kind of like broken and there is no hole like to a floor up. There is no way <laughs> upstairs. No, I just double checked that there's no like... There's no way... Window any windows? Upstairs. Any windows Wait, on the yeah. outside? Wait, <laughs> Dutch, Dutch, I have a question about that like hole with the rubble in it. There's no Is there a way small way? Upstairs. <laughs> Dutch is gonna kill us. Is there a window? <laughs> Can I hit it with my hammer? The rock okay, all from enough. the rubble. That's enough. Die. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said there's no way upstairs, so I was thinking maybe through the window. He didn't say he said there's no way in. 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 Right. Like sealed. Like completely. <clears throat> it is physically impossible. Yeah. For anyone what about? Or <laughs> what about the floor the above floor that? Of this tower. What about the what floor we above that? The person that asks that me about is there an upstairs, I'm going to just start rolling damage until you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Is there another floor downstairs? <laughs> you said upstairs, not downstairs. Oh, <laughs> we've been oh, through this. Oh, we've been through this. So you're right. right, you're right. I do know that. Sorry. Someone, Sorry. Better, find this. Someone better find this treasure. Uh, I want to go outside. Oh, the DC the to tower. find the treasure just hasn't so gone up by five, by the way. <laughs> Only by five? Fuck it out. That's so nice of you. What about I, me? I, I killed go, the spider. Um... Is it lowered for me? Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, oh my god. Up. What was that, Bell? I want to go outside. I want to cast, uh, what's it called? Mm -hmm. Spider climb on myself. Yeah. And then I just want to like crawl all over the tower. Mm -hmm. There's another one. Yeah. Spider like frog. around the outside of it. Yeah. Spider frog. Yeah. Okay. Is there a point to this? Or are you just anything? Just... Yeah, I'm just looking for like anything. That's weird. Okay. You're on the outside of the wall, like, what do you expect to see and find? <laughs> like, window. Maybe, like, a hole where it's been, like, destroyed, huh? Nope. Nothing. Uh, Another okay. window. Man, dangerous Side. game, though. How, how, how... The floor is, like, ground's, like, mushy because it's, like, water. Like, yeah. covering, like, the marsh floor, right? Correct. I'm gonna start digging a little thing with my shield. Okay. I'm, I'm just gonna head outside and let Morgan and Wilbara know and be like, we, we killed them, by the way. All right. right. It's all good. It's safe. Can we go now? Just in case. I mean, I, I'm i good. To, I don't know what they're doing right now. Um, They really want to get to the top, but it's there's no way in. And I, I think we okay. just have to wait for them to realize that. I'm going to get a torch from Tazarus. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Yeah. I'm gonna light it up and I'm gonna start burning and on that that second floor. I'm just gonna, gonna start burning Wait, away the, is the, the edges of the room. Ah! 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 Me and Laura fight. Everyone else is fucked. I was gonna no, say. You're uh, fucked. I'm. I'm... Hello? Hello? Fuck. Hello? Okay, I had to change region, but everyone started to sound like a robot. Um, yep. So what are you doing? I'm good. I'm taking a torch, yes. a lit torch, on that second floor, and I'm just burning away spiderwebs around the edge of the room, looking for any sign of obviously. Oh, uh, and what you find doing that? Mm -hmm. Is two bodies um, wearing Kryn Dynasty um, gear. One of these bodies seems to be wearing a suit of elven chain. Woo! Um, and the other body is wearing a silver ring. I'll, I'll take the ring. Okay. I recognize I'll... elven chain. Does, does Ludwig like call you over? Yeah, you I'll just uh, well, I'll, you know, I'll mm -hmm. take the ring and then call out. Hey, there's some nice looking chainmail here. Do you think? It's uh -uh. No. Um, Neswin, you walk over and um, is this this um definitely isn't. It's not like a chain mail or a plate mail. It is. It's elven chain. It's it's considered medium armor, uh, mm -hmm. but has some and some benefits to it because of its fine craftsmanship. Um, Fuck! I'll put that on. Okay. How how dirty is it? It's a little like, webby still, but you know. I just press to detation it until it's okay. like perfectly new, clean. Right. And so, take off my armor and swap it out. You have a. You now wear a set of elven chain. Is it just Elven Chain on D&D Beyond? Yeah. Cool. I guess they're just two, like, desiccated husks at this point. The two sol the, the two bodies. Mm-hmm. Just, they're, they're just unrecognizable or anything. Just kind of, nah. like, shriveled. All right, fair enough. Um, Looking like they've been... All right, I'm going to yell from outside, be like, whenever you guys are ready, kind of... Kinda need to get a move on. Oh yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Fish that was a chain put, armor. Putting on the dead man's meal real quick. Okay. Dead man's meal. I kinda, like, jiggle. Jiggle. Yeah, jiggle. Alright. Um, for the sake of brevity, mm -hmm. you continue on your 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 trip. Uh you make it back to that like bone, like the the, the graveyard of bones and a giant rib cage yeah. that you slept at previously. Uh no lizard folk inside. It seems that they're still kind of avoiding the place after uh, what happened there a couple days ago. Uh, which is where you all shall um, take another long rest for the night. Uh, what's the order in uh, watches? Take oh, first. first. Oh, but I'll go second then. Before we sleep, mm -hmm. I'll take the last one. I'm just going to take everyone aside from the two goblins. <laughs> And I'm just gonna say, right, right, right. if you finish your watch, <laughs> and one of the goblins is like, oh, I'll take watch, you can, you just go to sleep. Wake one of us up and make us take watch with him, because I don't want to be stabbed in my sleep. Like, think about it, especially now we've saved her, right? They could just slit all our throats in the night. They don't have to pay anybody anything. Take all our shit. Let's just keep an eye on them, all right? Very Maybe we should take double watches then, just in case something were to happen to one of us. I guess. Seems fair. I'll go with uh, Elias in. So someone take watch with Taz. Sure. Maybe one of the goblins. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. We'll ask one of them and then... You might take the last watch. Ludwig will take second watch. Hmm? I'll just, just wake me up whenever if you need someone for so for if, a watch shift. If Ferris and Rav take third watch, Neswin, if you ask, I'll just take which of one. the two do you prefer? I have no preference. I think they're both lovely. 
<clears throat> you can take watch with Morgia then. Okay. Okay. So first watch is who? Me. Uh, the perceptive Bobara. boy. As and Bobara? Yeah. Bobara. yeah. Uh, to Bobara and Morgid, we're just going to say, uh, we have... This tower doesn't feel super safe. We're going to take double watches. You're not a tower anymore. We're at the graveyard. We're a long oh, way from the tower. We're in the graveyard, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Even especially, after, especially after running with the lizard folk. So we better take double watches. And it would be a shame if anything lizards? happened when we're so close to getting you back, you know? Yeah, that's fine. Is there any leftover lizard for tea? I mean, the, the corpses are still there. They're a little, little uh, less fresh, but... <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, that's true. Actually. It's been like three days. Never mind. Yeah, in murky, swampy water. Mm. I bet that sounds great. Lizards. I'm gonna drag him to the edge of the fucking area and just fucking burn him. Okay. Um. So first watch was Taz and Bulbera. Yeah. Yeesh. Um. Bulbera will approach you, Tazris. Last time I did this without asking, and uh, one of your friends got a little upset with me, but. Uh, would you mind if I spend my time praying? No. Okay. See, figured as much, but uh, no, no, your your dwarven friend didn't like to see me in a state of prayer. I don't know what his problem is, but he's cool. got a lot of anger in a small body. Mm. Okay. <laughs> this does involve me, you know, building a little bit of a makeshift altar. That's 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 all. Uh, that's fine. Okay. And she, and she puts a little altar together and takes the gem out of her pocket and. Slaps it in the middle and goes to sit cross-legged and closes her eyes and starts speaking in a language she that you don't understand, Tazris. But yeah, she seems to That's be fine. in like a trans-like prayer state for the next uh, two hours, like all, all just throughout the watch. Right. Meanwhile, uh, Taz, perception check, please. Sixteen. Yeah, your watch goes by uh, pretty uneventful. Nothing much happening. Uh, yeah, do, we'll, you, uh, do you do you like up Elias and uh... do you like uh, do anything about Bulbera because she's still sitting there praying? Nah, I just let her pray. Okay, I'm not, I'm not stressed about it. She summons something sketchy. Unless the shit starts out. happening, I mean. Okay. <laughs> so who had second watch? Myself Elias. and Ludwig. Okay, you guys wake up, Ludwig. Again, you see Bulbera praying at this altar mm. that she made. Does she not stop when it's time for a watch to end? Oh. I'll risk it for a biscuit. And I'll go tap her on the shoulder. Don't disturb her. Huh? Oh! Your uh, watch is over. Already? Get some rest. Oh, yes. I'll, I'll get some sleep. And she looks at the altar that she made, takes the gem out, pockets it, and just throws the rest of the altar, like, just crumbles it. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm going to see if she actually goes to sleep. Yeah, I mean, she goes to lie down, closes her eyes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use the wand uh, and see if the gem that she's carrying is magic. Oh, you go to look for the wand. I, I took it, right? Fuck you! Yeah. Oh, did true, you not yeah, put you it back? It. No. No. <laughs> oh, here's my wand. Oh, uh. Mm, mm. I'll just hand it over to him. <laughs> I had to use it last night. It's all right. Was I asleep? Yeah. Fair. Don't wake me up. Yeah, <laughs> go. I'll take it back. There she was go. doing that weird shit before, and I just wanted, you know, a little check in. Just, yeah. um, a faint magical uh, essence emanates from Bulbera's uh, uh, pocket. Does it have a school of magic? Um. Oh, have a look. Mm. Uh, yeah, I would go with um What school of magic is that? Because it kind of does the same thing. Um, Transmutation. Evocation. Oh. Evocation? Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I mean, look what... Uh, if mm. you really want to... 
and you think you are capable of doing it, you could take it from her while she sleeps and I could identify it. However, at this point she's sleeping. I, it's our last day on the road. It doesn't seem to have impacted us in any way. I, I would rather just not mess with it and, you know, it's her problem or we leave. Yeah, I mean, before we know it, we'll be back at their camp and there's no sense in taking it from her. She needs it for whatever weird creepy magic she gets up to at home, whatever. It's just rather she wasn't doing it with us on the road, but it's what it is. Pray as Dutch that she was doing. Mm -hmm. Do I recognize it as arcane in nature? No. No, okay. Cool. Nason. Right. We'll um, as for your watch, uh, both of you, both perception check or one of you with advantage, it's up to you guys. Is your perception it. good? Uh, pretty good. Plus four, I think. I'll assist you. Roll right. with advantage then, Ludwig. 19. Um... You hear um, some some sounds coming from the edge of this uh, this area, and you suddenly see out of out of the the foliage comes jumping this like this like rat, and the rat kind of like starts chomping on the corpses of the like the rotting corpses of the lizard folk that Elias previously had dragged How big? into that area. Um, well, it's not like a, it's not it's 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 slightly larger than your average rat, but it's not like a fucking big fuck off. Uh, not like a giant rat or anything. It's just a slightly above average rat, and it's just numbing on one of the corpses of these like rotting lizard folk. I'll take out my short bow. Okay. Knock an arrow and I'll give Elias a nudge. Five silver to whoever takes the head off that rat. Make it a gold. Mm, sure. Do we roll initiative? Um. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, it's a race. Uh, I got 16. I got 16. Oh, okay. Uh, Me, 100%. Uh, him, but I also get my int bonus to initiative rolls. Oh. That's why I have a plus 7. Okay. Well, I have a plus 3, so I, I mean, I rolled higher, but then just I don't... In that case, just re-roll. Okay. Re-roll. Oh, seven. There you go. Elias, you can go Sheesh. first. Okay. Uh, it's a Yay. rat. It's a rat, yeah. Matching myself. Huh? <laughs> Matching myself. Yeah. That's cheating. That's cheating. <laughs> uh... Magic missile, you summon the three darts and just... And, I mean... It, yeah, it dies and there's these three large... <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> You know, half a second later, an arrow just yeah, and harmlessly like, yeah, through its eviscerated body. Basically, what happens body. here is like the missiles go flying, and right as the right after the missiles impact, this arrow just goes. <sighs> Bastard! I'll <laughs> pass him a gold. <laughs> Little does he you know it's taken from the gold that we were already going to get from the quest reward. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, eh. I tell you what, double or nothing, mm. hit your own arrow. Double or nothing, hit your own arrow. What's the what's Dutch gonna make the AC of my own arrow? That's the thing. Who knows? <laughs> Would Ludwig know that? Oh. Would Ludwig take that back? Just, but no, if he wants to try. I mean, he, he has, has a lot of faith in his own abilities. Ooh, sorry. Sorry. I can never resist a gamble. <laughs> Twelve. Misses. Uh, two gold, please. Double or nothing. Oh, God. Four? Sure. <laughs> 20. Dirty 20. No, it's not. Chrono oh, are you going to fucking chrono bitch him? Oh, no. <laughs> You're going to chrono bitch him? Natural. <laughs> Natural one? <laughs> oh, my God. Again, does this arrow just... Make, like... me, shoot, make me shoot him. <laughs> No, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. It's the coach. He's like, uh, I got you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you say? You shoot the arrow, <laughs> and completely just fuck it up, and it just goes flying. And you just hear 
from like a few like trees over. You just hear as as the arrow lands, well, seemingly hitting that's some, be worth some, 12 gold. some frog like creature that is just far off in the distance. My dad, no. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna You're have to go to Frog done. Hospital now. But he doesn't have Frog Medicare. Sh surely that's worth more than hitting the arrow. <laughs> I don't know. We'll call it even. <sighs> Fine. Yeah. What's that, two arrows I no, got Marco? Yeah, two arrows. I'm not gonna take his money because I don't want to hurt his pride anymore. I just uh, you, know. If you're gonna cheat me, come on. Uh, you don't know that I cheated you. No, I'm but I'm in saying this to you. Line, in this timeline, you just missed. So, um, your watch kind of ends. Um, nothing else really like spectacular happens. Mm. You will wake up at Ferris and uh, Ravamore. Rav. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, before I go to bed and bed. finish my rest, yeah. are you two good at perceptive things? Nope. Rav? Yeah? Are you good at being perceptive? Yeah, I'm a frog, dude. <laughs> I uh, believe her. I'll never yeah. understand that reasoning, uh, but I mean, it works. So. <laughs> I'll, I'll cast Fortune's Favor on both of them. Okay. Thank you. What does and that then mean? I'm going to bed. All right. Um, Faerys and Ravamorn, uh, you can either roll a perception check uh, separately, or one of you does with advantage. It's up to you guys. I would just let... Um... Oh my gosh, you I would let Rav do it with advantage. Ooh. Both of you have fortune favor, so basically, um, if this is shit, Bell, you can just natural twenty. Hey. Right. Twenty-four. She's back. Right. Wasted my magic. Um. Yeah. No. Nothing. Your watch goes by without a without a peep. We're gonna Same. set off tomorrow. Find a dead frog. <laughs> with All that, the you I'm wake been, up. Been, uh, been. What was it? Neswin and. Uh, Orchid? And, uh... Good morning! Yeah. Hello! <laughs> it's just us. Did you sleep well? No. Oh, that's a shame. Mm. And I just have a look out. <laughs> and then, like, the conversation instantly drops. I like, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Oh, uh, butterfly! Make a perception check. I imagine Morgan just, like, sat swinging his feet in the water. You know, like, when a kid sits on the edge of a pool. This is just lying in the wall. Uh, more than perception, 15. Yep, this watch also goes by without a hitch, and um, the party wakes up. And are ready to Morning, set everyone. Off one more time. All and at right. the end of a long day go. of... Uh, at the end of a long day traveling through the marsh, you start seeing these horizon back tortoises in the distance, and you arrive back at Urzin. You enter the town and immediately uh, make your way towards uh, Lord Bufal II's hall. And as wow. you enter, he gets up, sees Bulbera, and 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 um, orders some of his men to immediately make sure that she's being she's being tended to and that she's all right. And he approaches you all. How bad was it? Um. Terrible. I mean, she's going to need some probably serious counseling. She mm. she died eight times, and they brought her back every time. Huh. Wow. Um, yeah. Okay. You have my gratitude. And of course, and he slaps down uh, a pretty sizable coin purse. Payment, 200 gold pieces. And, uh, you ever find yourself in or around, or around Ozin, you'll always be welcome, and you'll always have a place to stay. I appreciate the help, and, uh, especially, you know, the success. Well, thank you for, for the, the office. This is a fascinating city. I'm excited to come back here maybe it's sometime not too bad. for, it's for not pleasure bad. instead of business. Right. Venture is so, well. I believe it was something to the tune of 250 gold pieces. I... Did you he not get presented with us. 50 up front and 200 at back, as was agreed upon? Uh, 
Yeah, it's seen the hurt I have. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> this is God's country. That one. It's <laughs> God's country. <laughs> country. <laughs> Is it bad, dude? Eight. No, it's not. I'm gonna oh, make up for God. last night. Do it again. That's what she said. Twelve. I <laughs> fucking hate you. Fifty up front. Two hundred after the fact. Let's not become unprof right. unprofessional about this. All right, all right, all right. As agreed. Two hundred. All right. Like I said, if you uh, if you want some food, any any drink, help yourselves, and uh, till next time. I'm famished. Got through the last of my rations this morning. Thanks for your hospitality. We we appreciate it. That and he uh, he leaves and goes to join uh, Bulbara in the room that she was being brought to. Morgan kind of walks up to you. Well, I guess it's goodbye. It was nice. nice to meet you. It was nice meeting you and. Uh, Thank you for bringing Bobera back. We need her. Thank and, you um, for being a trusty guide. Yeah, no worries. It's uh, it went pretty well, right? I so. I think you so. Were, actually, you were a good distraction. Oh, you should have seen the face in that guard when I told him I fucked his mother. Yo, you should actually fuck his mother now. I mean, I let's, not, let's not go that far. Okay, I don't know if you there want you to travel to the Empire for that. No. Oh, oh that is a bit far. Right here. Just say it to just say it to him again next time you see him. I will. I will. Good. All right. Well, farewell. And he kind of like kind of just like gives you this awkward like wave, and then he uh, moves along. And with money? that, uh, you think? Ludwig, I think. <laughs> Ludwig. Yes. With that, uh, you can divvy out the gold and all that stuff, but. Um, yeah, we're fighting over it. We've reached the end. How do I evenly divide two hundred? Evenly divide two hundred gold between um, the five of us, because you've already got fifty. That fifty was between the five of us. <laughs> that fifty, 50 was. I think I need to go let this dog us. out soon. Yeah. Okay, everyone gets forty gold. I get fifty. Fine. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, and with that, we reach the end of the Unwelcome Spirits um, adventure. Your Dude, characters I mean, all level up to level oh four. My gosh, and I think next four? week, next Sunday, we shall... Up level yes, you level up. Level next four. week, um, we'll, uh, you know, using these characters, we'll pick up the uh, Frozen Sick adventure. Yes. Which takes uh, oh. the party to uh, a place called Pale Bank Village. Uh, cool. In the Arctic realms of the Graying Wildlands and Isocross. So, oh God. Well, uh, you know, there we go. This will be fun. next yeah. Sunday. It's great having everyone here again. It is amazing. Uh, thanks Grapple again for the fun. We'll be here next nice week. <laughs> we'll be here again on uh, Sunday. You're not going to be here next uh, week, Soko. No, I have work. So it's gonna be our so we'll be down Johnson. with Soko, but it is, uh, you know... I'm, I'm not here next week Yeah, either, I, I, I will think. continue to be oh. at the Ashton Okay, Johnson. well, uh, let me know, and we'll just see how many... Uh, we're definitely gonna play it, I think, and uh, we'll just we'll just see how many we are. There's, um, a, there's a possibility, but I we have family coming to visit, so it depends. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, just let me know. Uh, but but yeah, next week, don't like, could we do a Saturday me. again, or...? Uh, I mean, I... Uh, I work for okay, 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 okay. I think, okay. think Saturday's still bad for me as well. Alright, let's just double-checking. Sorry, lads. Next weekend... We'll, we'll 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 probably do Sunday, but if I think Soko doesn't matter either, right? Saturday or Sunday, because work is work. No, no. I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, there so, you go. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. So we'll just do Sunday <laughs> to stick to our, our okay. norm. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check out uh a next an another adventure from the Explorers Guide to Wild Mounds. We're just gonna use the same characters, you know, make this like a little mini make it campaign easier. kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Uh, they kind of travel around Wild Mounds and and doing exciting bits, doing good uh, deeds, doing stuff. Can't wait to get used to these names right before we start campaign mm -hmm. two. <laughs> yep, right. And uh, in the meantime, uh, thank you all so much. Uh, check, check out, out the Reddit character and Twitter reveal and all that stuff uh, for the second character reveal. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> should we? No, I think next week, next Sunday, we'll also announce the uh, official starting date for campaign two. Yo, that we okay. have one. So that we'll, we'll announce that next week. Uh, along with, um, I think at that pace, we might be able to do two character art reveals next week. Uh, yeah. Ooh. So, 
Ooh. Takes you three weeks left. Uh, yeah. More. Or more. Something, something along those lines. Or more. Or Somewhere. less. Who knows? Somewhere in there, dude. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll have a we'll have a look. See you guys next Sunday. Uh, this vault. Let's go raid Dice D&D. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. raid yeah. Dice D&D because they're awesome and. Uh, Mm. They are, are going so to good. be playing their seventh yeah. uh, episode of their uh, yeah. campaign, and uh, the Dicely guys have been super supportive of us, and they're super dope people. Yeah. Yeah. Show me yep. some love. Yep, yep, yep. Um, let them know we sent ya. And this vod will be up on YouTube whenever Bell thinks and has time. So um, yeah, you know, probably Wednesday. Probably Wednesday again, just like last week. Yeah, that, that'll be... Uh, I mean, if you have my emails, then absolutely, yeah. <coughs> Dungeon Select Raid. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we shall Hopefully catch soon. you next week. And just keep an eye on Twitter regarding uh, a, a certain Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough that might be happening on the channel soon. Uh, we'll, we'll have to Ooh. talk about that. But keep an eye on Twitter. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Peace out. Good night. Enjoy your... Uh... It's weird, because it's still weekend, because it's Saturday. So yeah. enjoy your Sunday. Yeah, yeah it's still okay. weekend. Have a good night. Peace out, everybody. Tomorrow. Take care. Yeah, I'm working tomorrow. <laughs> Bye-bye. Kill us.